Right. Okay. Where oh, hang on. Before, before, yeah, you're live. Let me send. Uh, uh -huh. How did I send it? How would I send it? I, I don't like. Yeah, you're live. Let me send. <laughs> uh, I found oh, it on my computer. The well, other okay, day. we hang do a live. I'll stand up and get a shot of the T-shirt oh. for the video. Where the fuck is it? In here? No. <laughs> it's in here. Do I have it over here? Where is this? Where, where am I? This is so Hello? organized. Hello? No, I, I just remembered. All right, I need somewhere to send this. Uh... <laughs> what do you oh. mean? What are, what are you talking it's about? It's too big to send. <laughs> too big. Uh... Is this something that we could do during? Can I send in here? No, it's too big. How do I? Uh... This is starting as right. flawlessly as I'd hoped. Yeah. Hold on, Jordan. I have something to send you to. It's too big. <laughs> Why is it a panoramic? It's a picture of my cock. Right. Um... Excuse me? You're excused. Excuse me? I don't know, because I want to. Right. Shield mold is a tool to... Okay, while well, Adam is uh, searching, just so everything is immortalized, 25 to 1 bad movie club. Carl, do you want to talk about why it's called 25 to 1? No. No, I do You're not. zero viewers, could you, could you just let people yeah, know? Yeah, could you... Uh, uh, hold on. When I'm, <laughs> when I'm in my 40s and I get early onset Alzheimer's and I watch this video, I'm like, who the fuck is Carl? <coughs> um... So, Adam was helping you play a horror game. Yes, I know. And the puzzle to unlock the, uh, it was, uh, the padlock. Fuck. Why can't I remember the name of the game now? Here. Twisted? Was it Twisted? No. I hope it's up. What's that? It's something what I found this? on my hard drive the other day. Hold on, I'm gonna have to click that too. <laughs> Is that from the game? It's just me. Oh my fucking. It's just called Desked Up for some reason. <laughs> okay. Right. Um, yeah, you guys were, were playing a horror game and it was super, super late at night and the time on the clock was 25 to 1. Yes. So it was 12.35. Instead of trying 12.35, the two of you over and over again were trying 2.521. And yeah. I was half asleep playing something, and I looked up and I was like, you guys are fucking idiots. No, no you didn't. It took you a moment, and then you went, wait, what are you trying yeah. to do? Is that yeah, a clock? So something stupid is happening, but I can't tell what it is because I was so tired. And then I twigged it, and we sat there crying um, because you guys tried 2.521. Listen. Yeah. That's not important. Right. Okay, so That's our not important. our best movie out of the three hundred and three watched movies mm -hmm. is the Toxic, Toxic Avenger. Avenger. Still, yeah, yeah. So Good. these these columns are in order of uh, the Rotten Tomatoes audience score, Carl's score, Adam's score, my score, our group average, and the difference between ours and Rotten Tomatoes. Toxic Avenger is great. Um, I didn't even know what I could say about it. Yeah, like, it's it's just great. It's, it's just uh, good. Aunt May was in it. I oh yeah, she was. She was naked woman in shower. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> of there you course, go, of course she was. Yeah, in her defining role. She uh, probably her in your uh, your stream. Yeah, you if you want to. <laughs> probably. Uh, uh, yeah, no. So it's like. <sighs> What, what oh, I... I got an ad. Thirty second ad. Fucking, let's go. <laughs> I don't even know where I could where I could um... start with it. <laughs> um, I knew about it and I knew of it, but I never actually fully watched it. And then I was like, right. Every so often we have to find something good, and I think it has middling reviews. What the, what's the? the first this is one of the first movies. This is one of the earlier ones. Yeah. 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 I do no, like. Uh, I want to I... see more stuff that's written by. Uh, I just. Gay. Just a uh, heads up, Jordan. I don't think this list is censored. No, it'll just be the name right. of the movie. Okay. Um, 
when we get to one of the censored names, I'll uh, I'll, I'll work some magic or something. <laughs> I'll do, <laughs> I'll do it the magic. <laughs> okay, we'll do it in post. Whatever. All right. Uh, Fuck it, we'll do it live. Our second is Psycho Gorman, which I feel very similar to Toxic Avenger. I gave it the same. Score. Uh, so did Adam. I gave it a little bit less because I personally like trauma movies just a bit more. I. There was there was a lot more, and I think it's the age of Toxic Avenger that does it a bit more for me because there was, you know, they had less. Yeah. <laughs> There's a lot you could do with effects now that like get you past the the line, which Psycho McGorman did. It had a lot of like physical like proper effects that were brilliant, like all of the set pieces and the the character designs are all great. <sighs> the kid becoming the giant brain was amazing. It was fucking stupid. Uh, <laughs> and then she's like playing along with him. And tried to like, don't worry, we'll send, we'll send you back. And it sounds like he's crying. And, and we'll his bring you back to try to cope. Yeah, it was yeah. like we don't know where our son is, and then he shows up at one point, I think, or they like, there's like a, a fleeting scene where they're like, I just we just don't know what to do. There's still some <laughs> daily quotes from Psycho Garmin. Like I do not care for hunky boys. Oh, maybe I do, or, or or do I? I was making dinner for my lovely family. Oh God, I, I completely forgot. Does, does he microwave a steak or something? Yeah, he like microwaves a steak and like the kitchen's all over the place. I was like, what did you do? I was like, I was I was making dinner for my lovely family. Oh God, I have that recorded somewhere. <laughs> the father was great. The guy who played the dad was brilliant. Completely forgot about that scene. And he was such like a small character, but he had some of the best lines. I hated the little girl that though. But I think that was the point. Yeah. She was supposed to be the most annoying crazy ball ever. Crazy ball hater. Yeah, that was it. She was supposed to be really annoying and nobody was supposed to be able to like her, but no. Psycho Gorman did. Um right, the next one, our most recent top five. I want Adam to start us off for the Greasy Strangler. Yeah, right, Adam. How do you feel about the Greasy Strangler? Is this gonna be safe to Open the IMDb page. <laughs> bullshit artist. Bullshit artist. Uh, bullshit artist. Uh. <laughs> I think it starred some good, good actors that were all hootie tootie disco cuties. I just. It was the it... most impressive prosthetic cock I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> where we had, where we asked for a moment, is that actually a prosthetic? It has to be, right? Like, Don't know. Can't, can't fully tell. It has to be, though, right? It was just it was large and greasy it was uh oh man and yeah this is one like if i can't say anything about toxic avenger i 100 percent don't have much to say like i am lost for words to describe <laughs> this movie to anybody i like um, you asked adam to start it off and he just said bullshit artist and has no yeah just bullshit about. artist that's it uh you liked man, it though adam. i just you gave it 80 80 out of 100. Fever Dream 80. Listen, listen, listen. There's a lot of things that I could give 80. And this is one of them. <laughs> this right? is it. This is yeah. one. I, it, is, it is disgusting. Oh. It is greasy. I. <laughs> it is strangling. <laughs> My it's... God, it's greasy. <laughs> I... I can't describe it. And it's like, like, I think it's one of those movies where I go, 18s isn't enough. We need something higher. There is a something on it's, it's underrated. Or, isn't it? Yeah, it's I don't think it's R. Like, I know R is. Are you sure? The rating. I don't know if this movie is R. I think it just doesn't get a rating, and you can't distribute it or something. <laughs> but that I doesn't happen anymore. We can have things like the Greasy Strangler. Yeah. Also, I'm just after having like an epiphany, right? I was mm. like, okay, cool. We'll we'll do a quick recording. And we'll like talk about the movies. And I was like, yeah, we'll talk about the really good ones. We'll talk about the really bad ones. It's the middling ones. It's gonna suck. Yeah, that's why. Like, I'm never gonna be like, whoa, worst. these. Yeah, whoa, this was all right. Yeah. Uh, what awards did it win? You can see you, there's awards there. Oh, uh, for you just clicked grease. off it when I as soon as I Sorry. asked you, you 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 closed it. Well, it was produced by Elijah Woods. Uh, it, it, there's a little yellow thing. Up, 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 up. Are you just ignoring <laughs> us? I guess. No, I clicked on I it. I said, don't pull. My shoes behind. Oh, oh yeah, behind. It's, a, it's, a, it's a good bit behind. Okay. Right. Yes. We're um, not used to this. 
Uh, yeah, oh, 27 winner of Best Comedy Empire Award. Okay. Yeah. Well, Empire British Comedy Award. What? Did nothing award. else give out 27 That's crazy. I won an award for that. Not that I don't think it doesn't deserve it. Best Soundtrack. It. Uh, best Soundtrack is probably. probably legit. It had a stupid soundtrack, right? What was the things for, for best for best comedy in 2017 if you scroll down comedy it was up against Deadpool Ghostbusters Hunt for the Wilder People oh, I'm surprised Deadpool didn't get a Hunt for the Wilder so People was really good like that is surprising that, I, that I, 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 a group of people who were rating movies and giving them awards I don't know I don't know we watched the Greasy Strangler you don't think that deserved best comedy no I think it no I think it does I just don't expect it, uh, critics to have given it that award it was nominated for best soundtrack up against Sing Street didn't, Milana what were the songs in it then what was the soundtrack or was it its own oh, the Greasy Strangler was it not just stupid <laughs> <no>? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Yeah, and there was there was a couple of other things that were really good. Yeah. <laughs> That's all I remember though. Right. <laughs> it's like the intro to the Avengers where you can kinda of remember it. I can remember the whole thing, dude. Then, all the way. Then we got Turbo Kid, which I have higher than the Greasy Strangler. I didn't know that. You really like Turbo Kid. <sighs> Turbo Kid was the one with uh, Apple. Mm -hmm. I remember seeing yeah, this. Yeah, and she breaks apart like multiple times. I yeah. just thought it was it it was interesting. It was fine. It, it was it was a cool low budget movie. I think it hit a lot of those like kind of Oh yeah, this is cool. This is a lot of stuff with like a, a low enough budget. Um Although I I'm not sure about where I put it. I'll just just a picture of a woman. Yeah, that's why I paused on it for a sec. <laughs> um I It was fine. This. I liked the guy who was covered in metal, yeah. I liked him. I seen this on a friend's plex for ages, and I thought, "Wow, that's interesting." And then, no, uh, it came who getting up. call? Uh, that's Adam's getting a call. Twitch just texted me to my phone. They're like, "Delete this." Delete oh, yeah. this. <laughs> no, I need Get to turn off my out. intruder alarm. Because if someone oh. intrudes and I have greasy strangler on my screen, I think I'm fine. Uh, yeah, Turbo Kid was good. It was like you know, um, those parents I didn't like about. Her. It was Psycho Gorman, Can't Mad Max. fully remember what they are now, but it was fine. Especially for yeah. what the stuff we watched for this, it was perfectly fine. Yeah, it was a perfectly crumulent, crumulent yeah, movie. Good movie. Yeah. Right then, we Deadly Friend, which was oh, the, why did um, that break? That's interesting. Which is Mr. Craven. Craven. Oh, yeah. Oh. The one that people didn't like because they taught they taught Wes Craven, and we're like, what? What the Baby. fuck is this? I mean, it's Adam's favorite robot ever. <laughs> it was just a girl pretending to be a robot. It was like, yeah. And um, she just she'd kill people because she thought she was robot. Uh, obsession fatal. Oh, what else was she in? Is she that, was in something else. Another name for it? It's probably the Italian name for it, right? Oh, we'll get to the Italian movies. Don't worry. She was Buffy. Ah, the that's movie. the one. Yeah, in the movie Buffy. Yeah, which she was Simone in Ferris Bueller's Day Off. Mm. She was flowers. And she was Christine Boner. She's in Dude, Dude Where's, where's my, car? my Car? Which is another movie that should probably go on the list. Probably. Uh, I just think that's gonna be boring. Yeah. That'll just be boring. Uh, Deadly Friend was great uh, because it was a Wes Craven movie on our stupid list, so it was just amazing. So because <laughs> he's he's competent at making movies, it's even if they're a bit Craven silly. Yeah, he's competent. We have two of his movies on the list. On yeah. the bad movie list. But that's because people saw them and went, what the fuck? Just because they're like weird or they're like, like Deadly Friend. I slowed the start and it's about a girl who thinks she's a robot. Which one was Star Crash? Because they all blend together. <laughs> right. All of those movies just <laughs> blend into one Star in my Crash brain. was actually Star Wars. Your man had like the fucking sword and he had the force. Oh, yes, yes. And there was these two robot dudes that like Didn't spun their heads out, around. Was that not the one that came out like a year before Star Wars? No. I no, I think it came out a year after Star Wars. Like, wasn't it like the same year or something? We looked oh, it up. Okay. None I of these were before. I wanted the little robots from Star Crash more than I wanted the little aliens from Laser Blast. Laser they, Blast. They were like, there were guys that spun their heads around, right? I can't fully yes. remember, but it was they had the force in this, and then yeah. they they land on a planet of Amazons at one point, don't they? 
something like that. <laughs> they landed yeah. on a planet. Again. Oh, yeah, there's a giant Amazon titty robot, yeah. Again, they all just fucking blend together. Yeah, and he's using his lightsaber to fight the robots. Yeah. Are photos on IMDb going to be safe to go through? Probably not, right? It depends on the movie, right? Oh, okay. Right, it's so just technically for educational purposes, right? So you're fine. Uh. We're coming up on movies that I need to check before I have them on stream. Um, Terror Vision. That was another recent one. Uh, what's the shark? Oh, that was the, the guy. That was the guy. That was um. <laughs> that was like, he likes men. Like he's a he's a bit eccentric, isn't he? Why don't you? Uh... No, who doesn't like men? <laughs> Why don't you, instead of sharing your screen, just share the, the tab? The tab, and then open open a new tab to double check the ones that you think you need to double check. Ah, it'll be just the same amount of effort as pulling them off screen and checking. Okay. Well, some of the vision. covers probably won't be okay, but here we go. We will find out in, what, three more scrolls? Let's play, um, play a little game with your Twitch Stream channel, shall we? Yeah. The Terror um, yeah. Vision. I was like the one with the with the big dude who comes through the TV. Yeah, um, television may not be safe to look at the photos. Was there much? Really? Nah, there was like two scenes. Oh, there he is, man in yeah. speedo. That's fine. Be careful, you're not allowed to look at that. Ooh, not I think for the most that. part the movie was fine, so you might be all right. There's like there is a lot of pictures though. Yeah, oh, yeah. thirty five photos. <clears throat> I can't so wait till get... we get to the movie um, with the chicken and the Nostromo hat. And me and Adam spent the majority of the movie trying to find out how old the actress was. So Shut she up. could have been on that subreddit, thirteen or thirty. So Terravision, if I remember correctly, right? They get new, uh, they get a new like satellite box, and some dude fucking accidentally sends his pet over the airwaves, and it comes through their TV, and he keeps like doing it. <laughs> He's it's like he puts on like a like the fucking Angelus, like at, at six o'clock he comes on and he goes. Do not touch the monster. Do not look at him. I accidentally sent him. <laughs> and he shows up at the end just to get killed by some woman because she did, she didn't know she, who the like fucking bar Buberella. Yeah, the terror Angelus. I like that. Mm. <laughs> um, yeah, because he shows up just to be like, I accidentally sent my pet. <laughs> the, I don't remember the dad being like old man. Shredded. That's not I the just... dad. I just that's that's, oh, that's, that's, the, that's, other, the, uh, that's the that's the Italian swinger. dude. That's the swinger. <laughs> or the, get, the, um, the Greek dude. I just remember the the fucking the alien just be clearly saying, "I'm hungry, hungry," and they were like, "What do you want? What do you? What's wrong <laughs> with you?" I don't remember him saying hungry. And he's clearly just saying hungry, hungry. I don't I like don't when you impersonated the people perfectly, and then when he was in what? alien mode, he was just. Bleh, bleh, bleh. Yeah, hungry. I can impersonate people perfectly, kind of like I'm a person. <laughs> that was well, too many peers. I really liked Terror Vision. I thought it was great. The monster was cool. It was funny. Oh. Uh, yeah, no, Terror Vision. See, it's, we're not going to have much to say about the good ones except for they were good. I said that and then I seen like Velocipaster, so maybe. Right, so Black Roses was our next one. Uh, I personally love Black Roses. I think Black Roses is great. I probably gave it too little. Black um, Roses was just a seven. good movie. I it's guess. the one with the rock band where like they they play their rock song and everybody's face melts off. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just like that. Yeah. Uh, so he has to fight like a monster comes through. Like he plays the record, and a monster comes through the speaker. <laughs> and then the, there was the one where like he fights it with a tennis racket. Look Clearly they. Clearly, they only had like the upper torso and nothing else, so they had it hidden behind like a countertop, if I remember correctly. Yeah. So he fights this thing behind a countertop for ages. They do their best not to show the bottom half of it. Um, yeah, oh. it was. What? You might want to scroll away from that trailer, Jordan. Oh, there is Bob uh, Ritson's oh. in the trailer. <laughs> <laughs> it was so dark I couldn't see. Don't know what you're there talking is... about. There is a bopper in the trailer. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, but that was the um the man, the main fella. You mean uh you mean uh price of admission. Oh god, <laughs> right, okay. <laughs> Explain at him. Nah, I'll let you take that one. Yeah, this is you. Right. Um bad movies. Only get people to watch them because there's boobs in it. Booms. And we've come to call boobs in a movie the price of admission, because it's the price of Admission to the bad movie. 
it's worth the price the of, the, of going into the movie. Yeah. Um, so wait, then... how many so far? So like, Toxic Avenger does, Black Roses does, Air Vision does for does a second it? for the wife, right? I don't think she gets full when on. She's in the pool. Out. No. Oh, does she? I thought when the other one, not the wife, the other one's like yeah, splashing around maybe. in the pool. Do you know what? I'm yeah. Gonna, I'm going to bring this whole tab over to my other screen so I can vet them as I go. Because <laughs> I've already. <laughs> what was that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I got eight it movies. Wasn't even, in. It wasn't even in the pick. It was in the official trailer for the movie too. Yeah. I got eight movies in, out of three hundred and three, and I got caught out. So. Yeah. This movie has breasts. You know right. that's that's the trailer. The <laughs> next one, Toxic Avenger Part Three. It's Toxic Avenger, just the, the third one. one. Why did we like Tree more than two? Uh, because like it was a better much. movie. <laughs> I t it was just more stupid. Tree was the one we watched recently, right? Yeah. Yeah. Was it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. You got to be careful with, with with Toxic Avenger, for sure. Yes. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Tree had the scene that me and Adam are convinced was in two. Yeah. I'm all almost the sure it's not. It looks the same. I think they had the same set. They kept the set, but I don't think it's the same mm. scene. Uh, I could be wrong, though. Yeah, there's nothing else to say about Toxic Avenger except for... Uh, part 3, yeah, it's just not as good. Um, yeah, they they kind of lost somewhere. their luster. luster. Yeah. I, I'm going to have to watch 2 again on my own because I think they're <laughs> exactly the same. Oh, don't worry, we'll get into you watching movies again. <laughs> right. um, the next one's a movie that you just like. You've seen it before. Hit the list. Oh, the gate. Oh, the fuck! Gate. I love the gate, dude. All the little, all the men's walking around. The photos are all in black and white. Actually, that's interesting. All little guys running around the place. The movie wasn't. Yeah. Hi. Guys. I want to offer a promotion. Yeah, the gate was. Um. Yeah. I really Why are all the pictures in black and white? I don't <laughs> the know. The movie was. I uh, think. I think those are production pictures right? the stupidest part of that was they actually levitated the kid at the start and they were all just like when he starts saying other crazy shit was happening no one believed him what the fuck but dude? he had just levitated him <laughs> are you stupid kid <laughs> yeah no but levitation's normal like summoning demons isn't no yeah was... some little little demon men that run around and like bite your ankles that's yeah. not that's not and normal. then his best friend kills his dog and he's just like yeah whatever man he was old anyway <laughs> I didn't mean to kill his dog. He got a fry. <laughs> he was swinging him around in the fucking. He did not, it looked like his mom. I know what's going uh... on soon, and I'm actually anxious. Uh, so the <laughs> next one's Barbarella. Let me just do a quick vet. Uh, oh, Barbarella is. Uh, posters yeah. okay. Fucking 1960s you, you mean sex when they, vibe. They kill. They tried to kill her in the sex machine, the orgasmatron, <laughs> and uh, she breaks the machine rather than her breaking. She's too sexy. So Barbarella. She is, does um... too much sex. Be careful with that trailer. Was Barbarella the one where they took the pills to have sex or something as well? No, Barbarella. Uh, no, where... they take they take pills and they put their hands together. Yeah. That's future sex. Uh, but your man in the in the, in the gypsy, right? The <laughs> what else can I call oh, him? <laughs> whoa! <laughs> He's a traveling dude. I don't know what else mm. to call him. He travels around this desert planet and uh, you in his caravan. Planet. Yeah, and she like she 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 ends up on a planet with a bunch of like kids that like. You got one comment, Jordan, on your stream, and it's just been instantly deleted. What kind of people have you got view in your? Oh. Uh... <laughs> Oh, I have like the anti spam thing on. No, I did. Ah, okay. Oh, oh, you did. That? Um, was yeah, it a real comment they, or was it spam? No, it was garbage. Um, they, like <laughs> a bunch of like alien kids like tie her up or something. This guy saves her, and then she's like, "Oh, I guess I could do the thing." And she goes to put her hand out, and he's like, "No, I'm in penis sex." So they do that instead, yeah. and then she teaches other people how to do it throughout the movie. Yeah. And they're all like, As oh, you do. We don't do that anymore. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, there's right. a guy later who's like, let's do the hand thing. And she's like, no, no, we can't do the hand thing. Oh. But didn't she do the hand thing? And it was like the best one. Like, she no, he finds steaming. it great, right? No, because she no, starts like explodes. Ste Doesn't she steam as well? I can't fully remember. I thought he exploded. <laughs> <laughs> like he like blows up and like moves across the room or something, right? think so. So what's, like, the what's the next one, Jordan? Huh? What's the next one, Jordan? What's the next one called? What's the politically correct way of introducing the next one? 
Homosexual. Oh. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> um, homosexual. People of color from outer space. Black astronauts. Um, <laughs> which this was recommended to me when I was in a twelve-hour tattoo session, and I couldn't believe it was recommended to me. And then we watched it, and we went, "Yeah, it's I, exactly I think what it says." In the was tin. it not all it was, ready? It was only like not... fifteen minutes long or something. So it was. It was very short. It, it's well, just like a short. And we it's, uh... all knew about it. Is what happened, and then I said it, and we went, "Yeah, cool." Um, it's hilarious. It's short. That's all it has going for it. <laughs> like <laughs> other than that, other than the shock factor, it's just very self-aware. Fact... <laughs> yeah, it's also on YouTube. If you just want to watch it, there's the link. Yeah. <laughs> right. Okay. So moving on. Daredevil. Look, I don't know why it has a score as low as it does. It shouldn't be 35% when there's movies way lower. I think they were just, people 70%. were just comparing it to Sam Raimi's uh, Spider-Man. Spider -Man. When did that first Spider-Man come out, actually? Uh, 2001. I think it was oh, was it that early? Um, well, they have to remove the Twin Towers from all the promotions, so... We can right. watch this for Colin Farrell, uh... Quotes. Oh, they took me hands. Yeah. More penis. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner right fucking here. He says Breakfast, that's lunch, me. and dinner right fucking here. Not even joking. <laughs> Not even fucking joking. Not he even says that joking. Me. Also, that's his main line. this list has ruined my childhood because the um, the censored quote is, I want a bloody costume. And then he immediately shows up wearing the exact same outfit as he was a minute ago. The version yeah. we watched was the uncensored one. He was, I want a fucking costume. And it was awful. <laughs> yeah, it was so weird hearing him say it. Because I said it at the same time, and I was like, whoa. Yeah, you said bloody as he yeah. said fuck. We were like, whoa, what? Whoa. <laughs> and Carl pointed um, out something that I never noticed, even though I owned this on the PSP, like a little UMD. Um, his jacket, his snakeskin jacket, hisses whenever he, like... Yeah, that's my favorite thing about the movie. His. Yeah, it goes... Every time he puts it on, hmm. and it's amazing. I they just um, they put like a rain stick in it, so it needs. <laughs> <laughs> it also has uh, my favorite quote that doesn't make sense to anyone who doesn't know that I'm quoting the movie, where like he points out his bullseye and then points out your one's da. Uh, 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 yeah, <laughs> me hands. It now my favorite hands. quote is a is a physical quote where I just pretend to pick up all the bits of the glass. <laughs> I wish I had a gif of you doing that, because you do that often. <laughs> I'll grab the glass. Yeah, because then he starts throwing it. No, it's silly. It's great. It's what I want superhero movies to be, and they never will be again. It's like the Fantastic Four movie. Like the OG we'll one. get to no, that. No, not that OG one. The other one. Oh, okay. I want I want superhero movies to be this again, and they won't. So. Yeah. Right, with Death Promise. I don't remember what Death Promise is. Death promise death promise i'm not gonna remember a lot of these oh hang on let me vet it first right uh, oh is that the, that's that's the a uh, no no stop stop yet yeah, no stop jordan stop stop <laughs> Twi streaming on twitch landlord <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah it's it's the one about the landlords what the fuck them over and yeah. he wants to uh kill them mm -hmm. so they don't fuck anybody over it's anymore topical. This is like America in 1977, or things. It's America now. Yeah, <laughs> it's everywhere right now. Is it? Uh, except we're not one, killing them. This one oh. didn't have Bolo. Oh no, that's um. No, I'm taking them. No, uh, there's other ones. Two fighters. This oh, one did have really good fight scenes. Oh, though. remember your man who like looked at the camera or whatever in <laughs> mid fight. Yeah, this had really good fight scenes where your man screamed. Yeah. He was like, ah, 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 ah. <laughs> every time he like lunged at him. It's pretty good. <laughs> Yeah, death promise, which is broken here at the budget, but like you know. So it's a silly uh, action movie, martial arts movie. Good, mm -hmm. good. good. Right, hard ticket to Hawaii. Fucking love hard ticket to Hawaii. That, was, uh, that one didn't disappoint. We were waiting for it, and then it... <laughs> I think I... they'll just have to show the trailer for this one on stream. <laughs> Because I knew about how to take it. Let me flick through the trailer first. <laughs> I don't think there's anything 
in. It is rated R, oh, if I remember correctly. Oh, the next one, we're going to have some... Okay, the next one. All right, cool. But after Hard Ticket, yeah. Okay, let's My, get Hard Ticket. What's your favorite away. quote from Hard Ticket? It's not a quote. It's just them blowing up the thing with the bazooka. <laughs> oh, you, you timed saying that perfectly with her blowing up the helicopter. You made yeah. it. Uh, I like... Was it an explosive coming out of the toilet? Or the snake? Uh, the snake. <laughs> just when you thought it was safe to go to the toilet. <laughs> That's my favorite. I like yeah, that one. Her ticket was good. Um, <laughs> yeah. The trailer, I, I played it without sound, and uh, that explains everything. Right, Adam, you take the next one. Song of the South. It's, it's Song of the South. It's Disney's movie with your man that played Peter Pan. Uh, and and because... it, people don't like it because it, it, it doesn't have slavery in it or whatever. No, it, it, it puts the <laughs> plantations in a good light. Yeah. But it's set in a period. Ugh, like, it, it's difficult. Like, I understand why people wouldn't be happy with it. But there's still, like, there's nothing specifically bad about it, if anything. Wait, isn't it the it's first. The... It's the first movie with a black lead, right? Yeah, and he wasn't allowed into the theater to see it. Yeah, that was yeah. insane. Oh. He wasn't allowed to go to the theater to see it on opening night. Yeah. That's how bad America was at that stage. Walt himself walked out of the premiere because the town that they were showing it in wouldn't allow the black cast to show up. And he basically introduced the movie, said this is ridiculous, and he went across the street to the hotel they were staying in and uh, celebrated with them instead. Which, oh, that was nice of him. You know, from too bad he did know, a lot of other bad things. Yeah, yeah well, we know Walt. <laughs> oh, that's not important. But um, the movie was really good, and it's a it shame. It was fine. That, well, yeah, it was okay. It's, like, it's it a shame fine. that it was held back by people of its time because. Um, yeah, I still I think it should be on Disney Plus with the disclaimer that they put on their other movies. Yeah, it's a bit yeah, but brighter, instead of the disclaimer, like, rabbit. Instead of the disclaimer rabbit. being we were racist at this time, it could just be other people were racist at this time. Like. The, it's it's because the main family. I don't know. The a, main family were cunts. Yeah, they were all awful, like... except for the kids. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but it's because it puts that kind of like, oh, we're working for the white man on their farms, and this is all we can do. Yeah. So they're kind of like, yeah, there's, there there is a back and forth about that, but at at the same time, it made loads of miles forward in the in movie making and being able to have such a high kind of well-known movie the animation in the public fantastic. Eye. oh yeah, yeah well of course yeah it's, it's like part of the their start of their like uh we're gonna have the people beside cartoon but they're real they're real yeah. cartoons real tunes i'm just vetting neon maniacs now which one was neon maniacs? i don't remember there being any boobers and... uh, <laughs> um okay Oh, this was another band one, was it? No, no, Neon Maniacs was the one with the hat, with the girl with the hat on, and you didn't know what age she was, and you wanted to find out. I don't remember this movie. Um, it was Black Roses and, um... Oh, uh, yeah, it is the band one. I just said it was the other band one. Was it? Was like... Did I miss no, the... No, is no. that not the... No, Neon Maniacs is the one with all the guys, isn't it? No, because they're in the house. They're at the recording studio in the house, right? For most of it. No, they, no, you're thinking of you're thinking of uh, Tor Mickelson. <laughs> oh yeah, I am. John Mickletor, sorry. Yeah. You're thinking of John Mickletor. This Neon... is not John Mickletor. Which Neon one was Maniacs Neon Maniacs? Had a really, really good song at the end that I found on YouTube. Oh, no, there's a woman. She's doing her thing. <laughs> Wait, what was this one again? Did I just mix this up in my brain with another one as well? Yeah, a group I of think... teenagers in San Francisco discovering play the trailer. homicidal play, monsters. Play the, play the trailer. Let's play now. <laughs> I'm going to have to flick through it. See, I haven't flicked through it, so it's not fully vetted. Oh my god. Just go a pair of balls and play the trailer. Uh, there was the... Yeah, no, I'm right. I'm 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 correct. It's the one with the girl with the hat oh, on. Oh, yeah, that the, where they're in the car and the car like your man. It, she yeah. has the hat on. She wants to take film of them. Yeah. Because I knew it because the the caveman dude is part of the neon maniacs, mm. and he just goes <laughs> around the place while yeah. the rest of them have like weapons and stuff. This, He's just a caveman. This is the movie where it has the start of 
the start of it was just the monsters taking forever to get to the teenagers. Yeah, yeah, because they're partying. Carl said his iconic quote, where he didn't finish the sentence immediately, and he said, I just want a movie that's just, the teenagers are fucking. <laughs> no, it said something and about And the kids. bad guy never gets to them. Yeah. The uncomfortably long pause after you said, I just want a movie where it's the teenagers fucking. It's like, Carl? I don't please. even think it was that long. You just didn't like what I said. It wasn't long enough of a of a pause that you that was your point. Your point yeah, I was remember it. I remember just what I said. Mm-hmm. Which didn't right. they uh, di- didn't they take that scene direct and put it into the new uh, fucking Halloween movie? Wasn't there a Halloween scene where he's killing the kids in the car? Oh, here, here, oh this God. One, we're not talking about Halloween because Halloween. See that one? I forgot. I don't need to know that one. The newest Halloween oh. movies are arguably the worst movies we've seen. They're not even on the list, are they? No. <laughs> right. I think, I think we need, before we go on, that reminded me. I think we need okay. a minute for mechanic. <laughs> a minute of silence for mechanic yeah. because it doesn't deserve anything. It's so it's, boring. It's so bad it's not even on the list because <laughs> we couldn't finish the fucking movie. Mechanic is the only movie we never finished. Yeah. <laughs> we will we need over, to go back. We were over visiting you. Um, yeah. in the UK, not to dox you. And we went into CX and said, We'll each buy a movie for no more than one pound fifty on DVD and we'll go back and watch it. And we watched a Steven Seagal movie. And and we watched... watched one about a family who like were it's doing pretty that, ahead like, of its online time. thing. Yeah. It's pretty ahead of its time. Yeah. yeah. They all streamed we... their whole house. We watched 30 minutes or so of Mechanic, and then we said, we'll skip. <laughs> I don't even think it was 30 minutes. Yeah. We watched a little bit, and Adam was like, oh my god, there, there's nothing happening. Yeah, they're like, in the same time, room. There's like a scene change, but it's the same room that they're in. So yeah. we decided, I was like, right, Adam, I'll, <laughs> let's check. So we skip forward like 30 minutes to an hour, god. and yeah. they're in the same room. Yeah, we can, said, can... if they're still in that room in an hour, we're... Still um, can you room. change your ad settings because i'm on my fourth ad on your channel and they're like a minute long bro i don't know <laughs> i'll change them i don't know how to do no them. i can't can I do it while there's one on i don't you know because, like, your creator them, dashboard or something. and you get three ads and they're all at least 30 seconds long and now <laughs> everyone's gonna get these ads and you won't be able to see shit right uh creator dashboard ads manager We've noticed that you're a missing ads manager panel. You need this panel to track and snooze your ads. Click ads, ads manager, to set up an ad. Got it. Right, where's this new panel? Oh, Adam, you're really throwing me here. I'm sorry, but like, <laughs> they're so long. When I first started, I had a, f- I had four minutes of ads when I started. Straight. I mean, just learn about it, Jordan. Jesus, take the quiz. Take the quiz. <laughs> Is it, we're not even live right now, and we're hitting them with take the quiz. <laughs> That's something we need to get across the internet quick. I don't know where this ads manager thing is. Why are you doing this to me? I don't know. Just leave it if you know what. But I'm just saying that. Oh, I don't think I can do it. There's quite a lot of them. I found an option for disable one-minute ad breaks, and um, mm. I can't select anything. So. Oh, okay. It's fine. You don't right? even get any of that money. It's just Twitch stealing the money from you, right? Because you're I'm, not. I'm simply streaming this so I can just throw it on YouTube after without having to upload it. So don't yeah. worry about it. It's fine. Okay. Um, cool. Right. Jewel to the death. China over here. Japan over here. Who's better? That's what that movie was. Yeah, but I really like the ending of it. Because <laughs> uh, it was the first I'm... man to fall in battle would lose and his country would lose. Mm-hmm. And the two of them... Like one of them loses an arm, and they're both fucked up, and then one of them and all the fighting was great. The yeah, all the martial arts were good. Uh, it was one of, one of, if not the best martial arts, like kind of like Asia martial arts film we watched. I can't wait to get it. to that. The main guy movie. aged like a fine wine. Um, I can't it, wait to get to it, that movie that um dropped lots of points in the last like fifteen minutes. Uh, it didn't um. It didn't hold. It didn't stay too long. We were, we were like, yeah, who's actually gonna win? And then they were like, they were fighting other people. What, like, what was that? I can't fully remember. They were they, the Japanese kept sending agents, like mm. ninjas, to kill people or steal stuff. 
and I kept yeah. messing stuff up. Or was it like like it was like a criminal gr Japanese group that were trying all to like, I remember kill is the them? last is the last fight on the rocks. That's yeah, all that's I remember. Right in the rocks really made it. Which, yeah. yeah. Which movie was the one where like the ninjas all turned into one giant woman? That was Dilted to the Death, I think. Uh, yeah. No, no, that wasn't that movie, was it? Because they're all nin yeah. Do you remember the ninjas steal and something at the start? The yoke is cl the the thing is clearly a kid <laughs> with a fake mustache. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the guy that's left there. It's yeah. Like, <laughs> let me double check while I'm here. Let me double check the movie. If you can find that, let me know. Which right. one was the one where one of the ninjas turned into a woman? I just said that. I think that was it, also Duel to the Death. No, a single woman, and then it just never came up again. That was also Duel to the Death. He used a sexy jutsu. We yeah. don't know her relationship status. Oh. Fit. Um, relationship status is fit. The Fantastic Four from 1994. It was the best Fantastic Four movie, <laughs> I guess. It's it was fine. It's really true to the comics. Yeah, it's, really it's at forty six thirty, I think, in the movie, as well. Oh, uh, you have timestamp. Give me a screenshot, I guess. Um, I can, I can stream it. Right there, that's that's my favorite part of the movie. The hand at the end. Cause I yeah, him going <laughs> back and forth with that. Yeah. They get what's, married. What, what's what's your quote, Carl, for Mister Fantastic? My quote for Mister Fantastic. been a while but you used to always say something about mr fantastic i know in the og comic when they're naming themselves what was, was it something about like what he could do mm -hmm. <laughs> i'm not 100 percent i can't i can't remember fully <laughs> I either forgot. but it was I've, it was I've something to do with joke. his penis it was I've something forgotten to do with my, his penis. my mr fantastic oh. joke um the effects weren't quite there. You can see like the seams in the movie for some parts. Yeah, but it was for for being made for nothing to keep a license. Yes. It was yes. fine. It, like, it was perfect. Because it never fine. got released, right? It was made, but no. never officially released. And also, Mr. Fantastic gets married and takes off in a stretch limo. The, yeah. That's what won me over. Yeah, the stretch limo part. <laughs> stretch limo. Perfect. Hold on. I found a picture of uh, the giant ninja. Is it coming over Facebook? Because I can tab it in. I can. That's what. That's what the other guy just changes to being a little kid with a mustache on. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he's a little kid with a mustache on. Oh, yeah, so that, that was also that one. They used sexy jutsu at one point as well. Yeah. Um, right. Velocipaster. I didn't love Velocipaster. That was okay. You love Velocipaster. Like, Can you give a 60? Jordan really liked it. I have three of the songs from the soundtrack on my phone now. Like, I didn't really care for it at all. I didn't, uh... I liked the clear suit. I thought it was fine. Yeah, parts of it were funny. The suit was stupid. Wait, you can, like, see the zipper? <laughs> yeah, there it is. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It just bounced around. Uh, like, pretty good. I mean, there was cause... some silly parts I liked, but for the most part, like, it just... Yeah, the... it just kind of held too long on me. The poster for it is so good, like, compared mm. to the suit that they went A through. man of the claw! I've never even read that. <laughs> yeah, oh, very good. I really like that. Oh, there's right. no grad. Four ads. There there's not go. loads I can say about Velocipaster. It's yeah. just Jim. Um... Well, the next movie is for your height only. And you guys fucking... We oh, all gave dude. it the same. But you talk way more highly about it than I do. I <laughs> love <laughs> Wang Wang. Can we, can we play the video? Can we play the song? Can we, I don't, can we do I that? I don't think we can get... We probably can't get away with the song. Why? Because it's it's a licensed song, isn't it? No. I I highly doubt your man went through the. He's talking about the Wang Wang rap. I'll, I'll yeah, get the rap. You. I'll get it for you. He's a tiny human being. Yeah. Blood. Uh, here you go.
Like Bruce Lee was in that. Who's Bruce Lee? Is that another? That's one of the 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 fake ones, right? Yeah, Bruce yeah. Lee was Bruce Lee. Yeah, and he was in Clones of Bruce Lee as well. <laughs> right, am I playing this rock? Yeah. Yeah, I like I love it. It's it's pretty good. I I sent it after we watched the first movie. I think I have audio in, don't I? I think so. Because it, it it incorporates the main song from the movie as well. Oh. And all the women love him. They love Wang Wang. Mm -hmm. They have to give him little kisses and everything because he's a great, he's a little man, great little man. I don't think I have the audio coming in. God damn it. You should. No, you don't. Uh... It's a poll. Mm hmm. Keep your hands low oh, where you yeah. can see him. Then put him up high. He's a tiny human being. Hang on. <laughs> and bum, 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 bum. Okay, this one should do it. Yeah. You can stand at like 40. No, my friend will come. <laughs> come to me and kiss me. I love you, Wang Wang. I love you, Wang Wang. What time did you say it's happening? Uh, it's about 40 where the actual rap stands. 40 something below. Come on inside before you bust the blood vessel. Interpol here. Hey, yo, we good to go? Hell yeah, it's Agent Double Low. Don't want no trouble, those are your best. Put your weapon down slow. Keep your hands low down where he can see him. To put him up high, he's a tiny human Hello. being. Guaranteeing security <laughs> to Filipino security. It's all the same thing to Wang Wang Guilty. <laughs> yeah. He is, uh, is it, where, where exactly was he from again? Was it Philippines? Philippines. It's yeah. Philippines. He was, he was a little person. He was a Filipino little person that did, uh, martial arts movies. Um, but is it, one of his movies is completely <laughs> lost, right? I think there's a couple that are completely lost, but one yeah. that everybody knows of that's lost. Yeah. yeah. Right. <clears throat> I can't tell me the T-Rex. Oh, right. Uh, what the Just fuck? Oh, oh shit. Oh, they take his brain? Yeah, this is Paul Walker and Denise Richards. Yeah. They take Doesn't his pa brain, they put a brain in a robot. Doesn't he die in a car crash or something? Yeah. No, nope, they kill him, don't they? Oh, God, how does he die? Is it just a car crash and, like, they pick him up? Or I can't remember. <laughs> <laughs> I just, I just remember... The animatronic was cool, and I loved yeah. the trivia that some somebody came to him and was like, "Hey, dude, oh, yeah, I exactly. have this <laughs> animatronic for a couple of weeks. Do you want to make a movie?" Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll make a movie. Yeah, and somehow ends up with Denise Richards and Paul Walker. Oh yeah, where he gets smooshed and he gets uh, rolled out like a carpet. Pretty uh, good. Um. Yeah. Good movie. Good movie. It was fine. Like it was like. This is where I start like losing huge amounts of interest. There's stuff I like about it, but like for the most part, I'd be like, "Uh." Well, I don't know why I gave Project X such a high mark because I hate the monkey movies. It was a normal movie. That's just, why. Just too many monkey movies. Yeah, but this was quite early in the monkey movies, I think. <laughs> this is this is monkey movie. This is this is one where they uh yeah they yeah. they they get them ready for a space program. Yeah. And it was starring Matthew Broderick, who in 1984 uh, was in a collision with two women. In Didn't, Ireland. Doesn't it turn out that they're like kamikaze missions, right? No. So what they are is they're, they're going to go send the monkeys to drop nuclear bombs. Yeah, that's so it. So yeah. they have a nuclear reactor in the room to see how long the monkey can fly with a nuclear like reactor yeah. going off under Neo. Mm -hmm. um, so they're just killing the monkeys, clearly. Yeah. Uh, but their idea is eventually they'll find a monkey that won't die. So they send him off so he gets to fly them because they don't want to lose their plane. That would be a lot of money lost if they dropped mm -hmm. the nuclear bomb and they lost their plane. You know what they usually do? They just fly super high so they're they're fine. <laughs> send but monkeys. I guess monkeys. Yeah. yeah, send monkeys out. One thing that I didn't do was introduce the book, and I wanted to do it while I had my um my camera on, but now I just. Their Project X book. Yeah. No, I know yeah. what you mean. So. A lot of our movies come from the Spine Grinder book. 
In fairness, not not too many of them. We have. Uh, own... Yeah, every so often we find one from the spying grinder. But was there any so far that were from spying grinder? I don't think so, right? No, but like even the movies uh, that we don't get from here are like typically in here. Has that gone open price? Twenty four pound. I don't know. There's only two more left in stock. Yeah. Yeah. Say five euro, man. Yeah. Well, it's crazy thick, though. How many oh, pages? Oh, it's huge. Eleven hundred pages. Yeah. yeah. And, and there's no is, pictures. Uh, more sex better than. pictures. It's so, just a list. When we select our next movie, we spin a wheel of all the available movies and just right. So we're on Project X, but like here's all the movies yet to come. And sometimes the wheel will land on random book movie, and then we so have we, to pick a random. We we use random number generators to choose a page and a and a and a column, and we choose one of those movies to watch. Yeah, next because time. if this list has not already shown how they're all divergent, the three of us are. See how I'm using like the proper phrases and shit. Could you not though? Yeah, I didn't want to call you autistic on the internet. Being neurodivergent uh, is honestly a vibe. So. <laughs> <laughs> Take the Carl, quiz. This has been Take the quiz. Take the quiz. Take the right. quiz. Oh. Toxic Avenger Part Two. Part Two. Oh part God, let me this. Uh, he goes to Japan. Oh. What happened? Oh. Oh. Bye. Oh, what? good stuff. Yum. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna stop recording. Oh, hello. Another I intruder. It, I think it's, uh... Did he just die? Wait, can you not hear me either? Am I gone? You went for a second, I think. Here, okay. did she... Yeah, everything's back now. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Um, I, I stopped recording. Because uh, this is going to be a long recording, so. Uh, I went to Vet Toxic Avenger Part 2. Is what happened. <laughs> he goes to Japan. And uh, he learns Japanese. And he <laughs> beats a guy. He learns how to sumo wrestle. Uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> and... Uh, yeah, that's that's about it. That's why we didn't <laughs> like this one, right? Yeah. He does a lot of stuff. He does yeah. a lot of things in Japan. Um, I do like how he gets to Japan on like a single person fucking raft. Like, you know, yeah. it's like uh, what's what are, what are those things called where you're like holding the uh, the sail? Sailboat? No, you are holding onto the sail and you have to stand up on this like like little plank. Like so, imagine a plank. And then a sail, and you're holding onto the sail, and that's it. Yeah. Like the treasure what are those called? Hang? No, I was thinking hang glider. Parasail? Is that what it's called? No, that sounds thought... about right. No, parasailing is the thing where you're on a speedboat and you get you're up in the air because you're like parachuting, but you're sailing. Ah. Uh, <laughs> right? I don't know. Yeah, yeah, I know what you're that's talking about. That's how he gets about. to Japan, though. Yeah. He gets to Japan on one of those. I'm looking forward to discussing like our next like ten movies, okay? Because <laughs> so. I so I didn't hate Toxic Avenger. I didn't like it as much as Water Tree, obviously. Fateful Findings. Uh the Brainius himself. Ah, uh, yeah. Uh, I don't know what like this was. This is his best one, right? This is the one where the shoes appear. Yes. It's a wonderful day. He has all it's the a laptops. magical day. Yeah, oh, he has his fucking people. laptops. I didn't there think is the Neil people. Brain movie would be the one that I'd have to like. No, there is nudie. He's nudie at one point. Yeah. You see his arse. Yeah. Um, no, no, it, that's it's not still not. It's still not pool brain. It's still not as good as pool you brain. You definitely see his arse at least once. Like, he likes to put himself nude with another woman. I like that he couldn't even get a fucking screenshot for the background without scaffolding in it. <laughs> <laughs> I, um, I have found information on <laughs> national and international millionaires yeah. yeah i am retiring today as what president of the bank what, <laughs> what was this that i that i pointed out the sniper was like aiming the wrong oh, the sniper had the same background yes as the person he was shooting yes <laughs> also because yeah, I, I, I didn't realize forgot. i didn't realize the poster has all of the laptops that he destroyed while making his movies yeah, mm -hmm. of course it does, because he is a hacker, laptops. and he's doing his super hacking to figure out all of the nasty deeds. The one on the bottom left looks like an AI-generated image where all the laptops are melting into each other. <laughs> um, so, right. yeah, this is, the, this is the start of us showing Neil Breen movies, and mm -hmm. uh, they were, they're definitely something. I loved it. I gave it 89 
I think that's maybe a little bit high because considering it's nearly a nine out of ten. Yeah, it's a great movie. Was but, the Miami Connection the one where they blew up your man on the, the skates or whatever? You know, was that? I've, I'm looking through the not, photos from Miami Connection and I couldn't tell you. I love the poster was, though. That that was hard ticket to Hawaii. Miami Connection is uh, the the friend song. Where oh. we're, we're all friendly for what? Fuck, yeah. Why can't I remember the fucking song? Friends now? forever. Oh, we'll, we'll do together. it together. Yeah. Friends forever. <laughs> we'll make it true. Yeah, they yeah. have a band and they want to play in their band, but they also want to go to karate tournaments. Mm. But they're not allowed to do that. That's bad. So the samurai and start. And attack, oh, and either. At the start, they have like a huge influx of like fucking ramen noodles mm. uh, that they stop coming into the country. Can't remember. It was Coke. It was clearly Coke, but it just looked yeah. like packs of ramen noodles. Uh -huh. <laughs> I don't know if they were using something else to make it look like it, but uh... there was something about the car scene. I can't remember. There was trivia about the car scene that I liked, like somebody actually got hit or something. Um, and then how does it end again? Oh, your man. Right. So your man goes. Is it the? Was it the the? Which one of them has the dad that is missing? It's the black guy, isn't it? And then I can't he finds remember. him. You remember he you finds him. He finds him and sends a letter to him. And his father sends a letter back. He's like, "Yes, son. Of course, I'll see you." And then, as soon as his dad comes back, like, there's a part where they're all like, "Whoa, we're so glad you're gonna see your dad." Whoa, his dad comes back. He immediately gets hurt. <laughs> he almost <laughs> instantly, um, like, dies almost, and then ends up in the hospital. And that's the end. The end of the movie is them going, "Wow, we're so glad that everybody's okay." In the end, I think one guy died. One of the main group died. Well, the guy with the dad, he gets to live. Of course he does. Yeah, no, I liked Miami Connection. Thought it was great. Thought the music was brilliant. Thought it was cheesy. Uh, let's fly through the next few because we need to get to Hanzo. I feel like that's going to be another discussion one. Right. Well, that's Hanzo 2. It's not even yeah, Hanzo well, 1. Well, we need to discuss Hanzo. <laughs> right. Action USA. Great Hold movie. on, we're going airborne. Great movie. <laughs> uh, directly into the fucking ground. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, we're going airborne <laughs> directly into the floor. Yeah, um, and the guy gets pushed out the building. That was great. They they crash their cars into things, and they explode instantly. Mm -hmm. And it's great. It's a It's funny. It's it's just a like a romp. I think is the best way. It's it is that bus scene, right? Where they jump over the bus and they just nose dive into the oh, ground. Yeah, 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 that's it. It's like, yeah. hold on, baby, we're going airborne, yeah. and then it immediately hits the ground. And it's like ten like minutes the... into the movie. Uh, a great movie. I really like that. I probably would give it more. Right. Showing speaking, now. Speaking of cool trivia involving cars, we've um, fatal deviation. Uh, our national movie. Yeah, what was the other hacker <laughs> team at the CT if we were at Ireland's uh, best? It, it was like it was like that Irish martial arts movie or something was their yeah. name. And I went, they they're talking about fatal deviation, aren't they? This is <laughs> because... the one where your man almost died in a fucking car accident, right? <laughs> yeah, where like he, he flips a car like it like and they it, use on it a country the road and yeah. then, like he actually got stuck in it or something. Yeah. Like he actually got hurt and had to get sent to the hospital, but they used that anyway. Mm -hmm. Um, um Mikey from Boyzone? Is it Boyzone? I think you're... I, think I don't know. You know and You know this more than I do. It, it was filmed in trim, and we want to go and visit all the places. Yeah, we need to go to that pub. We are, man. Takes a shotgun now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, no, it's, it's great. YouTube. I think uh, I think it encapsulates being Irish to a T. <laughs> Does it? <laughs> Yeah, you go out to the country and you fight people. Oh, okay. So I, but you go to the you go to Dublin Castle. There's people all sitting there with candles on. You fight people in Dublin Castle. That's you mean what happens. Castle. Or whatever, any castle. There's lots of castles in Ireland. Yes, they're all <laughs> underground fighting rings. <laughs> yeah, of course. They are. Yeah. Next we have Dolph. Oh, Masters what? of the Universe. Masters of the Universe. Mm -hmm. What um, did you say it was? Oh, Dolph. Dolph for Dolph Lundgren. Oh, okay. This was fine, I remember, right? Yeah, this was this was okay. A lot better than what people would say. Like, if you brought this up, they'd be like, oh, that's just a fucking awful uh, 80s a movie. Right but uh, 
I genuinely sense. thought it was fun. Mm -hmm. so, the, does anybody else remember it more than me? Was this the movie that had living in a box? No. What movie was living in a box? Oh my god, I can't remember. Right, okay. <laughs> oh my god, I can't remember. We don't have time. Oh, uh, I can't remember. Sorority babes in the slime ball balderama. Right, I need to vet this one. You guys start. It has Linnea Quigley in it, so. We love Linnea Quigley. Well, anything Linnea Quigley is going to be in, you're probably going to see her breasts. Uh, <laughs> That's kind of what she did. Anytime, uh, anytime it's been time to buy Carl a present, Christmas birthday. I hover over her cameo page and I go, no, nah, it's too much money to send Linnea quickly. <laughs> That'd be crazy. <laughs> I think um, she's like 120 quid or something. That's like, insane. Oh, that's crazy. I'm glad she's making money, though. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she deserves it. She's in some really good movies. Like, some of my favorite horror movies have her in it. Um, um, here, let me vet and see if there's a photo of the imp. Well, I'm not cycling through on the bleeding screen because. I don't think there is. How has no one put up a photo of the imp? It was, it was Masters of the Universe no. was living in a box. Oh, no, there is. There is one. Sweet. Was it Masters of the Universe living in a yeah. box? Yeah. Oh, you called it. Box. Um, and it was so in I had, had this little imp dude that was in a trophy. And they break to try get the trophy to make more like because they because the sorority make them go to the Bolarama to steal something. That's yeah. how they that's how they're initiating. And they let mm -hmm. out this little imp dude, and this little imp dude just likes fucking with them. That's it's, it. That's like the that's the whole movie. It's also all filmed at night because the bowling alley refused to rent out during the day. <laughs> yeah, or it cost too afford, much. Yeah, yeah. They couldn't afford it cost to too rent much. it for the day, which is amazing. so they had to film everything at night. Ah, oh, that's good. Right. I forgot so about that. The next one is Upworld, otherwise known as a gnome named Gnorm. Uh, what the fuck would you call it Upworld for? <laughs> that was its... I'll show you. Upworld. Oh, no, that's not... Why would you call it Upworld? Yeah, it's Gnome oh, yeah. named Gnorm. <laughs> <laughs> um, this was definitely a movie. Uh, I thought I... the little guy looked stupid, so I, I put it on the list. Nothing about the plot. I just remember the gnome. Big, uh, big Bobos. Yeah. <laughs> Bobos. <laughs> He's got Bobos. Um, Is that your swing wet? I can't remember what he calls the woman. Right, Carl, I'm going to blow out a candle so my house is going for it, and you can talk about Hando. Is this, which one's this? This is I, the second one. I mm -hmm. can't show Hanzo on the screen. Oh, I love Hanzo. I'm, right. I'm not showing the, the Bobos. <laughs> So Why? Hanzo, <laughs> Hanzo movies. Because there's a woman in the net. <laughs> and? Oh, and the Hanzo movies are a trilogy of movies that start with Sword of Justice, then the snare, and then Who's Got the Gold. They're about <laughs> an Edo officer named Hanzo Itami, if I remember correctly. Um, and he takes no shit none at all no um none. so in the first movie if i remember correctly so I'm, I'm i'm building into him mm -hmm. he learns that um an infamous killer has escaped from like a prison or something how does he learn i can't how does he no 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 no, no i don't i don't know he no not in his usual ways i think i think he's he knows about that beforehand because the doesn't he meet the them on the bridge doesn't he meet it, them on the bridge or something i think that's, that's at the end of the, the middle and end um so as part of trying to track down this guy, he, uh, which whose wife is it? He <laughs> he tracks down somebody. I can't remember who. I think it's another officer's wife, who knows hmm. information about the the prison, and the guy who's escaped from that prison, and uh, using his unorthodox interrogation techniques. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm gonna call him. Yeah. He gets the information he needs. Now these interrogation techniques require a lot of training. Yep. He, <laughs> He has, he has a slab of stone and a bag he, of rice that he puts his um his member onto. His Johnson. Yep. yep. And he hits it with a plank of wood, if I remember. Yes. Is it wood? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> um, that's the strength that obviously make it harder. Of course, works. I've done it every night since. One hundred percent works. 
then he has a giant bag of rice that he trusts into. That's to help get through really, any like. He really what? trusts that bag of rice, yeah. <laughs> yeah, he does. He does. Yeah. But he. That's all. That's all part of his training for his unorthodox mm -hmm. <laughs> interrogation techniques, which which is um, giving women so much pleasure, right? That him what him stopping makes them give him the information, you know. <laughs> and also, friend. doesn't his cock get bigger throughout the movies? <laughs> so the first one we didn't notice. <laughs> we didn't notice how big his cod piece was. Um, he could have been the Asian greasy strangler. We knew he was like it, it was. It was supposed to be that he was well endowed because that's how he give gets women to give him information. We get that, and he trains, so obviously it's you know strong too. But we didn't know how big. Like I don't. I don't remember going. Oh my god. <laughs> I could see it this huge, but was it the second or the third movie? The third we one. Where we're like, oh was my god! Yeah, <laughs> like you get the whole outline is on his like yeah. his nappy. I don't know what else to call it. What do you call those? His nappy. <laughs> what do you call them? It's a diaper. Um, but it, a full outline all the way up to like his belly button almost. Yeah, <laughs> is what he has. And we're that like, would oh, be him soft. Yeah, but they are they are martial arts movies. About Nito officer that doesn't take any shit, um, but I've been married by the fact that his interrogation technique is rape. He also yes. has like a Home Alone <laughs> trap house. He has oh, Home Alone, yeah. Amazing. <laughs> I fucking love his house. He has like a floor that like falls through, and he uh -huh. makes sure every movie to use it at least once. Right. <laughs> he pulls the thing, and the and the the bow and arrows come out, and they shoot people, or they fall to the ground and fall on spikes. His or, back has um. Oh yeah, like a little uh, roll, roly poly door, sure. and on the uh -huh. other side are all the swords. Yeah, right. Because Sword obviously, after entrance. he's done the thing, he brings the woman to the bath, right? And then right, the people Carol. come to get him. Hand comes up two more times on this list, and we're not. I even... know, but we're, it's fine. I've already gone through them. Right. Okay. Right. Surviving edge weapons. But why is it test protection? I um, put surviving edge weapons on. It's just an I instructional video. <clears throat> Any, uh, I've learned anything can be a knife. Yeah. Man comes up to me with a newspaper. It could be a knife. He could have mm -hmm. an edged weapon in there. Yeah. And I need to be careful. I need to at least keep that like 15 foot rule, so I can draw my my pistol before he gets to me with his newspaper knife. Yeah. That part where they were showing you all the different things, and there was like a baseball cap. Your man had a baseball cap on, and then on the other side there was all the razor blades sticking out mm -hmm. of it. I was like, that's crazy. If somebody gets you with that, they I think they deserve it. <laughs> Like, he's not really hiding them. I'd oh, like yeah. <laughs> You'd have to be a very specific angle to not see that. But um, that video was actually a police training video and has some really good information on it. Like how to stop a puncture wound from killing you. Like your lungs. Like it was like, get get out your credit card and like press it up against the wound and stuff like that. So you don't like your lungs don't deflate. Like, that's all really good. And also teaching people that, you know, a guy with a knife can get to you. Like, it, it, you know, a, t a guy ten foot away from you with a knife is still going to be able to get to you, like before you're able to even think, is is a big thing. So I, yeah, I still thought it was really good. Yeah, <laughs> right. Some of the situations were dumb. Like there was one, the one with the dog, where your woman was, um, she was, uh, she, she was like incanting, and then like the dog comes out to the screen and goes woof, and you can see its teeth, and he goes, "How many edge weapons do you see on screen now?" <laughs> woof. <laughs> right, Scanner Cop. Oh, I fucking love Scanner Cop. Do you want to explain where Scanner Cop fits into the Scanner? Uh, so it is, uh, it is a sequel, an unofficial kind of. Well, I guess, I guess it's an official sequel to Scanners, which is right. one of my favorite sci-fi kind of movie. I guess a sci-fi about the uh, the guys who have brain powers. Um, it's that movie where um, it, it, that has the best head explosion scene ever. Where, where like he's sitting there for a while, and his head just goes pop. Um, Scanner Cup. It, I I really liked all the effects in it. Thought all the effects were brilliant. Um, your man makes the meanest, ugly scanning face, I think I've ever <laughs> seen in my life. Like he looks like he's really pinching one out. And I appreciate that. I think more people. Yeah, there you go. There's the there's the yeah, the man's head that. exploding for scanners. Mm. Um, but, um, yeah, no, Scanner, Scanner Cup was good. I know of Scanners, and I know that scene. I've never seen Scanners. 
I oh, yeah. I just love how like he's like right I'm gonna scan now, <sighs> and like he really like the guy's really good at making it look like he's uh he's dealing with like a brain. His hemorrhage. veins start like popping yeah. out his head. <laughs> he also looks like he sells um seashells for the seashore services. <laughs> right, Resi, 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 Resi. It's it's uh, it's Resi. I don't I don't like... Resi. She's naked in Resi, isn't she? In the first one? Is she naked for long? Uh, yeah. I, think I don't think you see bobbers, right? Do you see her bobbers? Anyway. I don't remember in the first one. In the second one, you definitely see bobbers. She gets up off the table. Mila Jovovovovich. Mila Jovovich. Um, um, I, I remember it being better than what it was. But I was, was under no illusion. That Laser was exactly how I remembered it. I, d the I didn't realize Michelle Rodriguez has like cover, photo, like poster on this. Yeah, yeah, she's the second main character. Like she's second to main character. Crazy. Um, yeah, it was it was a stupid movie around the early two thousands that was trying to cash in on the game and thing. Don't worry, um, we get to apocalypse where we can actually. Talk it's yeah. fine. There's nothing inherently awful about it. I just remember yeah. Jordan being really disappointed with the laser hallway. Oh, I like the laser hallway. I thought you remembered it being a lot cooler. Oh, I do remember it being a lot cooler. It was still pretty good. I liked the chunks of meat. Right. <laughs> yeah, he just like turns into meat chunks. Someone Ooh, tell me a bad guy's girl. name from Doctor Strange. Uh, sh Shmurgle. Smeagle Smaggle. <laughs> he never got a name. He Dr. Never got Popo, a name. I don't remember. What's his name again? Yeah, no, I'm Shmurgle. afraid he's uncredited. Yeah, we call him Dormammu, but oh, that's it. He was never. And he looked amazing. He I loved. There. I loved the uh, the little man. Yeah. Oh, don't, don't scratch my nose. <laughs> I'm going to scratch my nose again. I don't want to die. Yeah, um, um, this was supposed to be tied in with the Spider-Man one, was it? I don't no, know they, about that. They wanted this to be a show because Spider-Man had gotten a show and Hulk got a show. Mm. And then nobody wanted it. And Jessica Walter right. was in it. Adam, do you want to explain for future us how every time we watch a movie, someone has recently died and you call it? Yeah. Because well, Jessica Walter wasn't call it. I don't call Look, it. the only one that was insane was your the one that was killed by your son after years of abuse oh, while, that she was was crazy. while she was suffering from cancer or something. That was insane. And we were like, that's just awful. Like, yeah. I didn't need to know that while I'm watching this movie. <laughs> I can't even remember who it was. All right, we get it. I was doing that for a while while you were talking. Don't forget, stream's behind. Yeah, Doctor Strange was, yeah. Right, the exigency. One guy. One you guys like that more than me. I just uh, thought it was good because it was made by one guy. This is the one of the few movies that we bought. Well, the only movie. Did, right? Yeah. No, not not no not not only. I bought We the buy DVDs. all of these movies, Jordan. I, I we we DVDs. legally purchase every single one of these movies. True, 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 true. Jordan. <laughs> um. No, but I purposely bought physical copies of the ones that I really wanted. This is um. This is the one where the kid was annoying, and then it cuts to the other dude, and he like he launches him into space, and then he goes, "No, nah, I can't do that." Go back to this screenshot. Which. Uh, the one with the the city in the distance. See in the distance, that one. What one? It's behind. So that one, yeah, the one that's on now. Um, I'm pretty sure I've seen that in a. It looks like a Final Fantasy thing. Or a... <laughs> oh, come on! Actually, you're not incorrect. Yeah. Uh, it does look like a like a background scene from like Final Fantasy seven or eight. Uh, the cliffs are definitely like blood gulch or something. Yeah, one dude made the exigency, and it was, you know, it was dog shit, but for what it was, it was... How long did it take again? 13? Eight years. Or so. oh, oh, was, was it 13 years? It could be 13, I don't know. Between and that and guy has his years. cock out, doesn't he? Uh, yeah, but not in that photo, he doesn't. He's making a sequel, <laughs> which is... Whenever that comes out. Um, Mac and Me, which is Paul Rudd's favourite movie. No, he just shows that one scene from whenever he goes to... Jimmy Kimmel. The yeah. movie itself is awful. But my yeah, god, but they, is they the idea the... of coke drinking aliens. 
Is they, it their planet, they have straws that they go around on their planet with, and then they... They drink they, Coke. They drink out of the carbonated uh, And then Max springs. goes to McDonald's. And then and they have a dance. And dances around on a table in a bear yeah. suit. Mm -hmm. was, they said, why can't we re-release E.T. with just product placement? <laughs> no, no. And Coke so, and what it was is... What... <sighs> Was it, and which one was in E.T.? Is it um, Reese's Pieces, wasn't it? Yeah. And then this one was M&M's or something as well. M&M's was in there too. Skittles, wasn't it? Was it Skittles? Yeah, you go. Oh. So between the aliens that drink Coke go to McDonald's mm -hmm. and your kid in the wheelchair getting pushed off the cliff. Yeah. That's what got my score. Everything else was <laughs> awful. And the original <laughs> ending that we watched after the movie. But it's oh, a but movie. Oh, but it can get shot. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah, because I, did, I think did I bring that up or did one of you guys bring that up? Because I'm like, I think Adam said it. Hmm. Oh no, you I, said I, it. I was remember cut differently. seeing. I remember seeing, this kid get shot. I think I said at one point, and you were like, "What?" Yeah. I was like, "I swear to God, there's a scene where you get shot," and he Did didn't. You see the scene where they shoot him because the cop trips or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They like they cut it so he yeah. lives. But yeah. the original scene is he gets shot and he dies. Yeah. Or do they heal him? Yeah, they brought him back to life. Yeah. Yeah. With the power of love and coke or whatever. Yeah. Um. <laughs> right, I need to show this. There they are in the suits, on. becoming citizens. Oh, was that there too? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Top left. Very good. Very That's good. me. Uh, right, okay, so the next we've West Craven again. Uh this is the movie I think the, the kid had his tongue cut out. That this dude was, was fine. Um it wasn't as good as BP. But uh yeah, it was a movie, it was fine. Your man got dressed up in gimp gear, and walks no, around this house with a shotgun. Yep. Oh that guy has his tongue cut out. I've seen this movie. <laughs> yeah, we got 40 minutes into this movie, and this guy who's in everything, um, Adam said, does he have his tongue cut off? And he immediately shows, like, his missing tongue, like, the nub where his tongue should be. And I went, yeah, I've seen this. Like, 40 minutes <laughs> yeah, but in. That's, that's all that, like, that's the only part where he's like, yeah, actually, I've seen this. He didn't yeah. say to us at all before that, that he might have seen this. Mm. Nothing was playing on his memory until he shows he didn't have his tongue. It was like when we watched Freddy Got Finger to... I was like, my brain was like two seconds <laughs> behind the movie. Right. Uh, yeah, it was fine. I liked some of the stuff that happened in it, but we need to move on to the next me. one because this is our first movie that we're coming across tonight with the man, the myth, the legend, Mr. Sinner. Oh uh, yeah, Samurai Cop. Yeah. There he is. I love him. He's great. We love Robert Sinner. How long oh. are you expected to go on this for? Because you were like, oh, we'll get you all 300 movies. <laughs> <laughs> it's Carl 12 o'clock. We're an hour and 20 minutes in. Carl has a lot. To... Oh. <laughs> Never mind. Right, moving on. <laughs> this is the one so... where he shows up in the samurai, isn't it? The fucking. What? I, I didn't he know. Like, he, he, in he, the he car. Can... No, in the car. The samurai, the car. No, I I think, yeah, car. he's driving a Suzuki samurai as well. Yeah. But no. This movie has um, the the main guy is is it? Yeah, no, the guy, the main guy is Matt Hannon, I think, isn't it? And he was an ex Sylvester know. Stallone bodyguard. Yes, um, that's how he got the role in the movie. Mm. But he at the start of the movie, he's like, I know fluent Japanese, um, and he's katana. he's known as you know the samurai cop. It's and then Japanese somebody goes. Sword. Yeah, so he goes a katana, and he goes, "That's Japanese for sword." Or no, that's that's a that that's, that means Japanese sword. Yeah, <laughs> and we're like, oh, um, and he just wants to like fuck everyone, like every single woman he's met. He's like, "Yeah, I'll see you later." Well, I'm in. Yeah, I'll see you later. Uh, <laughs> right, but so filming went on, and then they had to stop filming for some reason. It was like a year or something afterwards where they started filming again. And he has to like, finish off on. scenes. Yeah. That he had cut his hair at that point, and he's yeah. wearing like a really, really fake wig. So in some of the fighting scenes, you can clearly see he's wearing this awful fake wig. But at the end, it really shows because your man like grabs him by the hair and pulls off his wig <laughs> at one point, and they left it in. Yeah. Oh, it's oh. crazy. 
Right. We, we'll aim and see if we can get to 200 tonight, and we'll make it a treat. Oh, that's another, that like, 54 movies. You have a lot to say about a lot of these movies, in fairness. Um, well, yeah, what do you expect? I can't show some of my Deadly Night because Linnea Quigley. Oh, oh yeah. Because she's in the trailer and the photos, and it's just her topless um, getting unalived. I uh, Linnea Quigley. Uh, one of the few Christmas movies that was good, but that was the one where he puts uh, her on the deer. Yes, antler. Yes, he's stick. That's the one that has the Christmas song that I love. Yes. Oh man, I'm after forgetting that too. It's in my liked. <laughs> but this was actually pretty good. It has a five point date, and I don't think it deserves that. I think it deserves a little bit more than that. Um, or what, what's it on Rotten Tomatoes? Anything in the pictures. On IMDb. She is, she has her top off when she's being on the live. I mean, maybe you can't see the front, but I just, uh, um, we'll play it safe. Uh, yeah, everything's case, hidden in the. Mr. Belial yeah. himself. This was our first movie with a penis in it. Like, an exposed. No. Penis. Yes, it was. Oh, we're a basket case now. Okay. Yeah, yes. yeah, basket case. This is, uh, I've known this and I. I like Basket Case. Um, I think the idea is really cool. Like, like just, just so weird, so out there. So, like, this guy has like a a conjoined, a, a removed conjoined twin, in in a wicker basket. It's Belial. Uh, <laughs> I don't know what's the point. Of what what what's wrong with Belial again? Uh, he's deformed and they have a psychic connection. Did the three of us see Basket Case before we listed it? You did, I did. I don't think Adam's seen it. Right. Basket Case is good. Um, we need to get but to I thought I needed list. to go on as of what it was. Um, at one point, Bilal gets out, breaks into a woman's room, and gives her head. Well, he, he's, he's all head. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. he's I'm all breakfast. head, baby. Yeah. <laughs> breakfast and fucking dinner. Uh... Yeah, I just I remember that. Um, I remember he goes ah, 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 and he kills people. Yeah, they open up his basket. He gets very annoyed. Um, maximum overdrive. That's the one with Lisa Simpson. Uh, and remember what it's about? From... Uh, uh, machines uh, being like, no, 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 no way. We're gonna <laughs> no, win no. world. It has the. I don't know the why it has. Goblin. It does the big goblin truck. Um, oh look, it's your man from uh, Breaking Bad. I love the trailer um, because the trailer, the original trailer, is Stephen King himself going. Lots of people have done my works in movie form. I think it's about time I do one myself. And it's like one of the <laughs> so, most regarded ones as like being shit. So he chews. I didn't hate it. I thought I it was it perfectly either. fine. Um. I think what people didn't like about it was the fact that it was, it's it's a it's because he did it, he did it down to the T of his book, which nobody else does because his books are weird, and they usually are on one thing, and that thing is scary, and everybody's scared of it, even if it's not inherently scary. Can you or imagine, a way to get around it? Can you imagine a world where he does a trailer and he's like, ah, it's about time I do my own movie, and does it, down to the T of the book? Oh Oof. my God, where he's from space and everything. No, 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 I think he's talking about the kid in the when they're in yes, the sewers. And I'm uh, talking about the sewer orgy ch right. child scene. <laughs> Isn't there like a? Doesn't he talk about like a space turtle at one point as well? That's in both movies. A space oh, turtle. He goes across multiple books of his. Yeah. Right. A space turtle is a recurring character in his books. A, <laughs> space turtle is a recurring character. It's the Dark Tower universe. Ah, <laughs> oh. right stuff. Otherwise known as the stuff. People have actually called their uh, product this, and I don't like it. The stuff. I yeah, I sent you a picture, and I went, dude. Oh. We were told about this. It's like marshmallow stuff or something. It was yeah. called. I was like, no, we were told about this. We're not allowed to eat this. This is bad. We'll become the marshmallow. Um, I thought it was good. Yeah, <laughs> it was silly. Some of the effects were really good. This was an early one. This isn't like the top. The first this was an or early. No, this was an early one. The stuff was pretty good. 
it, it's yeah. about like a like a marshmallow fluff type thing that when you eat it you become the fluff what the fuck is about to be on this oh this is the hassle half one right or it's no. the one with the men <laughs> we're just men that'll be on the stars if I remember correctly. This is the one where we had just watched one of the movies. And this movie <laughs> used the exact same scenes that they bought from another movie. Was it Star Crash or was it was, something else? Was it not Roger Chap you know, Roger Corman's son or something made the other one? Yeah, there was two movies that we just happened to get back to back. And it they is Star both Crash. Used I think it's same... Star Crash. They Ski used the same thing. footage. It I was... think it's all the spaceships from Star Crash are used in this movie. Yeah. But and we, we watched, watched Star Crash first and then yeah. this. Yeah. I yeah. think that's. Cause... Check the trivia on the page if you want was to it... see it. Was it the trailer we were watching or the actual movie? And I was like, wait a minute. Yeah, we just <laughs> we saw just... this. It doesn't like when I do that. It's in the trivia or something. Let me see. Let me see. Mm -hmm. Yeah, when I go to trivia, I go past uh, more like this. Um, All right, let me be quick. Astron Belt. It uses parts of Astron Belt as well. No, no, no. Future Director. No, 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 no. Come on, it's in here somewhere. Right. Well, he looks for that because uh, like that. Take the quiz. Um, Death Stalker Two, which was like last week. Was it? Yeah, it was. It's it's Deathstalker, but he's silly man. He is Deathstalker. I'm a silly little safe. man. I think Deathstalker he's like, too safe. It's like stupidly silly compared to the first one. But we liked it more, it appears, because it was just like its own little adventure. Um, and then the, the credits of a scene where he jumps out that window and actually like falls bad. We were like, oh my god, ow. Yeah, I hope he's okay. Yeah. This is also another place where he goes to Amazon Town. Yeah. I want to go to Amazon Town someday. Death Stalker 2 was just Death Stalker 1, but they'd seen space balls or something. Yeah, it was a bit silly, but it still had its own like main story beats and yeah, it was fine. This is where thing this is where like I was just like, yeah. It wasn't anything that I remember being abjectly bad. Right. <clears throat> Killer condom, the rubber that rubs you out. I love that. <laughs> it's never gotten old. Right, okay. Um, Killer condom was the one where the condoms were designed by Giger. Or he had some input on the design. I don't know if they were... If, I don't know if he had, like, a direct input, though. Oh. Um, It is a Traumaverse film. Mm -hmm. Of course it is. Uh, <laughs> when you didn't know about it, though. Uh, no, no, it's only when we put it on. I went, oh shit, this is a trauma film. Um, it's like a German production, I think. Yeah. Yeah, we watched yeah. it in Germany. And it's a bit, yeah, oh, that, that, was, that was good. Yeah. <laughs> Creative consultant. Condom desk rounds. Um, and he, it was really funny, but the movie itself was like. Yeah, it was fine. The, mm -hmm. cop, the cop sends his young um, partner into a gay bar undercover, and he tells him to wear a certain color bandana to have his back pocket so he can get in touch with their informant. He's yellow. He sends him with the Which wrong color. Piss. Mm -hmm. yeah. He was like, dude, I went in there and took a new piss of He's like, you yellow bandana. He's like, You're lucky I didn't send you with the red. He goes, what's red? In my feasting. Feast fucking. <laughs> yeah, feast fucking. Very funny. Great movie. Um, it was stupid. It was like what I expect from like a foreign trauma film. It was fun. Yeah. Dead Heat had one of the most punchable main characters I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> Which <He's>, one? <laughs> he, the, the guy with the yeah, fucking Yeah, all of them were pretty bad. Yeah. <laughs> the guy who Joe Piscopo? Like Joe you don't like Piscopo. Joe You're telling me you don't like Joe Piscopo? Joe he Piscopo had, uh... is tied as the most punchable person on the list with little girl from Psycho Gorman. Crazy ball. Um... Look at his face. <laughs> you mean fucking Jack <laughs> yeah, I love that one. I want that. I want that like to be like my profile picture or something. He looks out of it. 
Um, yeah, Dead Heat is about cops. Uh, one cop gets killed. He gets put in an oxygen deprivation room. Yeah. And, and Joe Piscopo can't help him out fast enough, so he dies. But then they put him in the resurrecting machine. Yeah. Uh, and, and then, then the, the movie ends they, with both they of them kill just the villain, like... and then they bring him back to life, and then see what, what happens yeah. if we put him through again. Yeah, what if we put him on again? He's like, yeah, you can't get out of it that easy. We'll just put him back in. Wait. Yeah. <laughs> they did what we taught. Like, if that didn't happen, we would have been like, what if they brought him back to life and killed him again? Like, yeah. is that not like what they would want? Because he deserves it. They're like, no, they just put him in again, and the whole thing explodes with him in it. Yeah, it's pretty good. Um, Super Mario Bros. Uh, the Sorry. best Super Mario Brothers movie that's ever come out. I was Mario. recently watching the uh, car <laughs> video on this, and apparently this is really important to special effects in movies. Uh, yes. Yeah, yeah, no, what's in this is actually crazy. Like, yeah. what they but were able to do for this movie was... Everything they made for this movie, they opened up for everyone else to be able to make it. Yeah. Because before this, everything was, like, in-house. Yeah, yeah, no, it's, it's, it's actually crazy. It's also the first movie to use a LUT. A LUT, what's that? Yeah, like a color correction thing. Oh, right, right. Because whatever way they filmed it made the movie really muted, so they had to correct it in post. Right. Okay, That's cool, weird. Cool. I wouldn't have thought, so, yeah. Uh, what's your name, sir? Mario. Sorry, Mario, Mario. Mario, Mario. Uh, I'm Just Luigi Mario. Mario. Yeah. Luigi, what's his name? Guess. Luigi. Luigi, Luigi? Oh, Luigi Mario. Luigi, Luigi Mario. Mario. What a Mario Brothers. Yeah. A plumbins a, a thing. Yeah. <laughs> I haven't seen the new movie, so I wouldn't even. What the fuck was Final Program? It was. The... <laughs> no, hang on. What was it? Oh, you have no recollection of this. <laughs> the book. I gave it a forty, so I, I must have thought it was shit. Final Program is the the British dude who goes napalm. Oh yes, yes. This the... oh, I hated this one. He ends I... up in the... The like Nazi place, and then I at the loved end, the idea of it, yeah. and it has made me go back and read the Michael Moorcock book, and I'm really liking the book. <laughs> so oh. yeah, this is the I moment just... at the very start to talk about the Nazi place, and then I got to the very end of the movie and went, "Whoa, there's Nazi stuff in this place." Um, I I I love what it did. Um, it it's off the walls like for for like the year you give it. Mm. The design stuff that's in it for the budget that they had, I was like, yeah, cool, very like, uh, like this is really interesting, and I love all the stuff that they were actually able to get into it. Mm. And Nobody... then at the end, he turns into like a homunculus man, and he's like, "It's a tasty world." <laughs> Nobody has put up the photo of the hermaphrodite, like the the perfect specimen from the movie. No, I don't think so. Yeah, well, um, no, not many people know the movie. Yeah, it's you know, it's. It's, a... it's just him, but hairier. Yeah, he's he's like a hunched over, like, proto-human. <laughs> right. Adam, Kung Fu Cannibals, <laughs> otherwise known as Raw Force. What did you mm. call your man? What did you name the guy in the boat? What? You gave one of <laughs> the characters have to give a name. More. <laughs> one of the guys who looked like uh, our good pal Lee. Fucking Obelheim or whatever his name was. He called him Ogilvy. Ogilvy. Ogilvy yeah. He said he sounds like the guy we went to college with, whose name was Yosef. And you called him Ogilvy. <laughs> you leave Ogilvy out of this. Um, oh. So yeah, alternate title: Kung Fu Cannibals. Uh, this that was when they were on the boat, right? Well, and they're having a party, the and the guy with the crazy hair. Ogilvy, yeah. Uh. <laughs> They, they're Isn't all like trying to get off or something, and like oh yeah, they were the the the, the not the cannibals. Is it, they're not cannibals. Who's the cannibals? Oh, the monks on the island are the cannibals. All right, yes. I'm getting it. And they they hired this group of fucking like the Hitler lookalike dude yes. to uh to to capture girls to bring back to the island so they could eat them because it makes them live longer. Is this the movie you were giving me shit about me saying he looks like someone and it was just that guy younger? I'm not sure. I don't know, man, but sometimes you're, he looks like such and such. Are, oh. No, 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 no. Sometimes when I say it and it's actually that person, I don't know if there's been a movie. I don't know if there's been another movie yet where Cameron Mitchell was in it, but I saw Cameron Mitchell for that one. 
he's one of our men, or one of our movie men that we see all the time. Um, the next Virus, one's the uh, Jamie Lee Curtis one, right? Yeah. This is one I had already seen. Um, movie's not great, but some of the effects in that are really cool. Yeah, I guess Jamie Lee Curtis is fine. <laughs> She's um, fine. <laughs> like the mo like yeah, no, as an actor. Yeah. Uh, Look at him. Yeah, I like the I like the guy. What was, what was he saying? Steve. Or Steve. Whatever. Steve. <laughs> um, uh, I like the 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 robot people. You can buy action figures of the robot people, which I thought yeah, was interesting. But mm -hmm. the movie like, itself was not really all there. Like I didn't remember much of it. I just remember that they they shoot themselves out of like a torpedo hatch at the end. That's yeah. how they get out, if I remember correctly. Yeah, that's all. That's it. <laughs> that's all I remember about. I probably should have given it a little bit less thinking about it now, but. Um, oh, I can't show some of the photos for the next one. Warrior and the Sorceress? No, you cannot. Warrior and the Sorceress. I'm fucking sick of David Carradine's face at the stitch. Yes. I love you can David use Carradine the, movies. The quadruple breast armor. Uh, it was the first movie to do anatomically correct extra breasts. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> right. Enough said. It's just. It's, it is it's, Yojimbo. It's Deathstalker. Um, and that's again. it. It's it's just that Deathstalker. <sighs> it's... Cobra. Oh fuck! I hate when I do that. Oh, Cobra! The fuck it. Yeah. Uh, Cobra. Actually, <laughs> thinking back on it now, I really like Cobra. Um, no, oh, it's fine. It, it seems I'm the only one who really liked Cobra. Cobra. No, thinking back on it now. Cobra was uh, the original script turned into Beverly Hills Cop. Yes, we did find that out during, didn't we? I already knew that. Thank you very much. <laughs> Which is interesting because it wasn't necessarily very funny. No, well, it doesn't have to be funny. That's why they gave it to Sylvester Stallone. Yeah. Sylvester Stallone isn't the funny man. Oh, the ending was pretty good, though. Like, he hangs him on the fucking thing and burns him alive? Yes. Yeah. And then he just takes off on a motorbike and nobody cares that he killed everybody? Yeah, he... he's fine. He's not even a cop, <laughs> is he? Like, he's... We then came up with the headcanon for a sequel where it's just paperwork. <laughs> paperwork. Yeah. Because I think... Stallone. Paperwork. I think oh, cop fuck. Oh, I did burn him, alive. didn't I? <laughs> Yeah, right. instead of Cobra, it's copy. <laughs> copy. Ah, uh, this is Toy Soldiers. It's the women. 1985. It's not fucking Mr. It Frodo, sir. It's not Mr. Frodo, sir. Yeah, this is the one where they like escape, and then go back for their friends. Yeah, that's the um, one. Oh, this is the one with fucking Andy Dufresne in it, isn't it? No, I don't know who that is. Yeah, it is the one I need your frame in yes, it. He's right. on the boat. Yeah. That's the one where I said, he looks like your man from he Shawshank like Redemption. <laughs> Tim Robbins, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I first met Andy Dufresne on the boat in Young Soldier. Yeah. I would like to say he got out alive, but <laughs> he did not. Right, okay. Next. Dora. <laughs> surprisingly higher list. Yeah. Uh, I didn't care for it. I like oh, where we were saying they're gonna get super high in this movie, and then they got super high in the movie. <laughs> it's like, like it's yeah. as expected, I guess. They can't just. No, like... this was better than I was expecting. It's like, I doubt they're gonna get really high, and that's it. Oh, there's Luigi. Talks. Is that Luigi? No, no, we've done this every single time. No, no what the fuck are you talking about? It. You mix them up with the other guy. You mix them up with uh, John Leguizamo. Yeah. We had That's like, Michael Pena. I fucking hate Michael Pena. We had a very long conversation about this during the movie. Uh, wait, did they not texture his tongue there? What was going if on? If I had a per that he was eating a shoe. If I had a okay. permit to kill one person on planet Earth, it would probably be Michael <laughs> Pena. Jesus Christ. I don't um, like it. He's bad. It's not funny. We have, was uh, it, isn't this movie the one where they're like, oh, the sun needs to reflect, and they just like turn on a torch? Yes. Yeah. It's shining into the light. Yeah, just shot because they didn't know what torches were back then. <laughs> yeah, I know, but I just think it's funny. Hang on. Explorer is her middle name. No, it's her surname. Her middle name is Duh. <laughs> Duh. Dora Explorer, Duh. Yeah. D 
Explorer. <laughs> the Explorer. Anyway, Good place, yeah. boots again, Danny Trejo. Yeah. Yeah. You can do it, Dora. Yeah, it was pretty good. Good movie. Uh, Nick Fury. Nick Fury White. That Agent of Shield. Yeah, all these old Marvel stuff were pretty good. I didn't care loads for it. Thought it was okay at best. I, I don't care for Nick Fury in general, but you know, like it was all right. Mm -hmm. Uh, I just don't think I'll like David Hasselhoff. <laughs> He's fine. How dare you? I guess, but he has no like acting prowess at all. <gasps> he just I, what? He, he's just David Hasselhoff. I Good day, sir. A spin -off show. The only, <laughs> the only, the only role he was ever good in was what the SpongeBob movie. Knight Rider. Whereas Pex like launched. I don't them even really back care to... for Knight Rider that much. Yeah, but yeah, his Pex are good. You need to move on because I'm going to start getting violent and we have like 40 more movies. Right, hands up. Sword of Justice. They were fine. I, I explained Sword of Justice. Mm. And... Hands up. The three movies, he goes after somebody different. That's pretty yeah. much it. He takes no shit. You can't really make out what's happening in the photo, so I just, you know, just to... There's the wooden plank. <laughs> There's a woman. There's <laughs> 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 yeah, a plank. Yeah. Well, that's what, yeah. He uh, he trains on that. Yeah, right. Just you can up. you can see the how much practice he's done. Yeah, yeah half couplets. <laughs> what was harm Jesus, Jesus Christ? Is half couplets not safe to go through either? I Wait, don't. No way. It's remember not. Remember what? Which one? What exactly was half couplets one? one I'll throw it up, but like one of the posts. Oh oh oh, oh oh oh! That's where they were. They had the vault in the ground. Um, yes. Yes. He, he he's a security guard, mm -hmm. and they have a vault on the ground, and he goes under, and he opens the door, the vault, and they get out, and they they make people's wish come true, but only in their <laughs> imagination while they <laughs> kill so them. Good. What was with that picture at the bottom? That's the poster. I was like, mm. yeah. Yeah, it's so safe, right? There's people streaming on Twitch wearing less than that. What are you talking about? She's like, uh oh, hop goblin. You're in your chat and you're fine. Stupid sexy hobgoblins. <laughs> <laughs> I liked hobgoblins. What did I give it in the end? 60? Yeah. Oh. I thought it was good. Oh, that was 50, funny. No, yeah. 55. Oh, wait, do 60. You, uh, sorry, you're on bed now. Do I have time to find the audio clip? No. What? For what? Uh, ben. Ben. Is there two it's of us? Howdy, partner. I'm a Ben. Where Willard ben. ended, Ben one. begins. And Hang this on. time, he's not alone. Yeah, I'm still picking up my desktop audio, so any of these I play is going to be heard. Ben. And there could be any of them. And yeah, you, well, you're, you're, you're playing with fire. I'm just going to click on all the short ones. I pray for the Pope in nah, Jesus' name, you're still name, playing amen. with fire there. <laughs> Pray for the Pope in Jesus' name, Amen. Is it this one? I'm not homeless. No, that's I'm not homeless. <laughs> I'm not homeless. <laughs> I'll, I'll try one more. Uh, here's a two second one. Ben. <laughs> ben. It's ben. 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 Um, so Ben is the Michael Jackson rap movie. Yeah, it has the song in it, the band song. Uh, it's about a boy who loves a rat too much. Mm -hmm. uh, everybody's like, you shouldn't love that rat so much. And he's like, no, everybody should love the rat as much as me. And then he kills everyone. And then the rat army kills people. Then they have to go in. They all have to go in with flame chores to kill all the Ben rats. Is, that's all. That's what I remember. Is Ben getting a stern talking to? Yeah. Fucking Ben. Doesn't the main kid grow up to be someone like someone uh, Ben and <laughs> <Xbox Lee Montgomery. laughs> Montgomery I don't know it's him. what did he do after after that he girls just want to have fun no know, maybe okay so no you're wrong <laughs> he's on Dallas him and every other actor ever alive was on Dallas <laughs> what in the 80s yeah right Ninja Tree what was Ninja Tree uh, Ninja Tree was a Hulk Hogan movie. 
Was it? No, I mixed it up with the other one. With uh, Wait, uh, baby not, ninjas. Have we watched Ninja One and Two? No, that was the point of Ninja Tree. No, I'm <laughs> I'm looking at the photos of Ninja Tree, and I don't think I've seen this movie. Crap. We have seen Ninja Tree. Oh, we have seen this. So yeah, yeah. We've yeah, seen yeah. Ninja Tree. Yeah, we've definitely seen Ninja Tree. I do like this though. Yeah, she's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. She pours V8 oh. down her body and he drinks it. Oh, yeah, I remember this incredible Him, <laughs> hairy guy, yeah. Yeah, very, very man. Yeah, this yes. extremely offensively Italian man. He throws like a, a, a throwing star and it gets stuck in a guy's hand, I remember. And yeah. he's like, whoa! Oh, I did, to my hand! As well, isn't it? I had it up. There. There's a guy with like a, a Chinese coin on his eye. Is that the one where someone like breaks into his house and he just like sits with them? <laughs> I can't fully Is remember. Is that that one where like he's stealing his vinyl or whatever in she, a bag? She gets the soul of the ninja dude inside mm. her, right? Yeah. So she oh. keeps going out at night and dresses up as ninja and kills yeah. people. Mm -hmm. And there's uh, she goes to like some dudes like hot spring spot now i remember this because there's three women in it and they're in they're in the hot springs so they have their tops off um she, <laughs> just a little clarification she there. walks down into the hot spring pool thing and like snaps yeah. his finger or something because he goes "Ooh, look at that woman and he she like breaks his finger or something kills him yeah, in the pool because he's getting revenge for everyone that killed him right he, something like that so yes um, we did see it it just yeah. You know, in the in the low res version of your stream, I think that that looks like the racist within. <laughs> That's fine. <coughs> Spider Man. Spider Man was fine. It was good. Yeah, I guess. it was. Uh, it was a TV was. movie. Yeah, for what it was. I'm not gonna do the trailer um, again because trailer has I just, some really good web swinging in it. I just, shooting. I just Mapping. remember uh, when we looked it up why he wasn't in the newest Spider-Man. He's like, I wasn't even asked. Yeah, I wasn't really asked. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody else was there, but I wasn't even yeah. asked to be in it. This is a really cool I would have done it. I would have done it. I seen this and I thought he was giving us thumbs up until I seen the colored photo. Yeah, he's holding on to the thing. Yeah. But on IMDb, like the thumbnail, I thought he was giving two <laughs> thumbs up. It was great. Um, yeah, it was fine. It was, uh, there's a part where, like, he's crawling down the building, and one of the bad guys is like, There he is, he's crawling in the building! And then they look, and he's like, No. <laughs> he's not crawling down the building. He's a good looking man. Then they crash a car. Some dude, like, is dead in a car or something, and he just walks up as, like, a journalist and starts putting his hands all over, I think. We're like, No, you can't do that. <laughs> that's all, that's what I remember with that. Um, the racist within. We watched that last night. Yeah. Uh, the guy, the last 30 minutes, they didn't lie. <laughs> I love the transformation. And I love the guy. Okay, um, okay. It's unfortunate that he wasn't in more of the movie. Yeah. Uh, Tom Holland wrote this. Speaking of Spider-Man. Tom Holland. Yeah, not the one you think of, clearly. Yeah. Okay. He wasn't born when this came out. Isn't his dad like a writer? <laughs> also, Tom Holland, Tom Holland Sr. That's a good movie. Um, he has a good transformation scene. Uh, he turns into, uh, I don't know, a, a slimy monster. Oh, Jesus and, uh, Christ, Warriors of Virtue. Warriors of Virtue is with the uh, kangaroos. Mm -hmm. <laughs> kangaroos. Uh, Adam really, really wanted this one. Um, you used a quote from this movie to publicly say goodbye to me from leaving the last job. Did I? Yeah. This is the time to make time to make like Tom and Cruz. Oh, they say that. Oh, yeah, the, 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 the little movie. kid. Yeah. Yeah, he does. <laughs> I got. We gotta make like Tom and Cruz. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I remember fuck all about this movie except loving the bad guy. Yeah, yeah. the bad guy was just an emo. <laughs> he was just like, like the presso. He lived in a world where like the saviors were like these fucked up kangaroo like furry looking dudes, and he just kept saying to people like, "Everyone knows this looks ridiculous, right?" Was like, Fuck this. I just remember it wasn't this movie funded by a lot of like Australian lawyers, and then oh, I they didn't make any that. money, and it like bankrupt their family or something. 
<laughs> I don't remember that. Um, we have a budget, 35 million. Wow. Mm -hmm. That's a lot. Right, Deathstalker. The, the original Deathstalker. Oh, um, no. <laughs> no, you can't. You can't look up Deathstalker. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> yeah, whoa. Uh, Deathstalker has a lot. Oh, she's wearing brassieres, isn't she? She's wearing a brassiere. They, there's a part where she's definitely not wearing a brassiere. Um, do you want to say who I recently asked can we watch Deathstalker? Months after having watched Deathstalker. Yeah, you saw the poster and you went, Carl, Carl, Deathstalker looks like a movie you'd love. And I went, Jordan, we watched Deathstalker <laughs> like a month ago. Look, sometimes the all the list <laughs> movies guy. just blend together yeah. into one yeah, sure. movie. We especially, this. especially these fantasy movies. They're the all the same movie. Uh, They're all the same case. Them. Like, <laughs> um, um, I like the pig dude that used to fight. And... Uh, that's all I fully remember about. You mean the scene that they reuse from the, in the second movie? Correct. Oh. oh my god, we never got to the little lizard man. The little lizard man. Oh, we and Deathstalker 2. Oh shit, we forgot to talk about the little lizard. Oh well. Look, I, I guess Deathstalker it's over 2 now. IMDb over in front of me. Is he in it? He yeah, has he, to be. Was he Deathstalker 2 or was he Warrior and Princess? Was he not Deathstalker 2? Warrior and two? Sorceress. Yeah, it was, was Warrior and Sorceress. Oh, okay. Again, like I just said, they all blend together. Hang on, this also came up under Deathstalker on IMDb. Mm. Of we can't is. we can't be adding more movies <laughs> onto the list while we're going through the movies. Oh but I just want to find a little lizard man. No one has a follow think, up. I'm devastated. I think I oh, know. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> what? I found him. Oh there he is. I think right uh with Fat Dara O'Brien. Um <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> Fat, Fat Dara O'Brien. I, I think um I think we now have the most comprehensive bad movie list on IMDb. <laughs> of of three, 200 and odd, or 300 movies? It's just 303 <laughs> movies on it or something. Okay. Oh. Orgasmo. I'm eating a biggie. Orgasmo? I yeah. don't know why. Did, did, did this have a low score? Or like, I can't remember why, I why this I gave made it, it on. 50. I, it was fine. It was uh, funny. Um, we, had, we had just watched basketball. Yes, no, it's not as good as it's not even close to being as good as basketball. No, basketball's not on the list. Yeah, no. No, but we had we had actually only watched basketball. We showed you basketball. No, we never got around to watching it. Did, we not, did me and Adam just watch basketball? Like, yep. just I us? So. I think oh. so. Oh damn! <laughs> yeah, this is not as good as the other movie they made. Um, no. It's just a Book of Mormon. I, it's just the Book of Mormon. Without the freaking drug lord, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> I've used the term stunt cock a few times since. <laughs> That's interesting. I've been using the term stunted cock all my life. Uh, Slaughter High. Uh, Slaughter High. That was a trauma movie, right? No. no I don't think it was. Anyway. No, but I had the same plot as a trauma movie. Yeah. Uh, I thought Slaughter High was in Traumaville. No, 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 no. There's class a there's a stupid combined. nerd in their class. I remember all this. Don't worry. Oh, stupid nerd yeah, in their yeah, class. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He gets they play they yeah, play yeah. joke yeah. on him. They yeah. put a, the, the woman's Acid. in the chair and she's like, "Come on in the shower." Mm -hmm. And then he just has all his clothes off and everybody's like, "Eh, hey, small nerdy penis." Right? Didn't he have a so massive penis? Did they? Did he? I don't in know, his I don't like remember. front shot, didn't he have a massive cock? Because <laughs> he's seen his cock. I don't remember. It was big. I think it was normal, right? Or like at least like to the point where we'd be like, oh, okay, that's, that's all right. Like I don't well, know. Normal. Over here. Uh, but, right? <laughs> so so they do that. It's touching the floor. They, they laugh at his little nerdy penis, right? Yeah. Great. Then they go, right? New one. Uh, we, we'll put sulfuric acid on top of a thing, and he'll yeah. bump off. He'll open up something, get scared, bump off the sulfuric acid, and yeah. then walk over a bunch of burner and go up in flames. <laughs> How funny is that? Yeah. That's hilarious. Mm -hmm. So he uh, he didn't die. He ended up in a hospital, or did he? Because I don't I don't remember how that movie ends. It's like your man was it, in the mental home. It might not have happened. Yeah. Um, he kills all of the people. Well, you know, you think he's killed all the people, but I don't know <laughs> if he actually has. Yeah. What yeah, the fuck was Sword of the Beast? 
Sword of the Beast was the most middling, forgettable samurai black and white movie. I... Oh, yeah, I remember. I liked it. I, I think I remember this one. Um, he befriends the two uh, poaching people, like the, girl, the guy and the girl mm. in the mountains. And they teach him stuff, and he teaches them stuff about him being samurai um, while the shogunate are coming after him for stealing gold. He yeah, killed a counselor it, it, of his clan or something. It has Gokarto in it. Yes, you know yeah. Gokarto. Yeah, Gokarto. We went Gokarto. <laughs> double down. <laughs> double, yes. double down. Double that down. was the one where he double runs up down. 50 mountains. Uh, and he he has he has this force field around them that he's uh, he set up by uh, by setting up all his things so nobody can get close to him without him knowing. Oh yeah, it was a Neil Breen move. Yes, yes, that yes, is yes, not yes. the trailer. Is oh, it maybe it maybe it's part of it. That did not look like a Neil Breen movie though. Um, is Double Down the one with the pool? pool or is that a different? One? Yeah. Okay. So, is his wife, his girlfriend? She yes. gets killed, and then he goes, "Right, I'm going to do it." Yeah, like that. Yes. Uh, I'm going to go against the government and yeah. the wars. But he also like lays down next to her face down the pool and it's just yeah. her bare arses. Yeah, yeah. You can see a bit of his balls too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but he's not That's dead good. in this scene. He's no, just... he's just lying down. He he's going out in sympathy. Um yeah. He's uh, a it's it's a I like all of his movies. I it's good. 69%. It's funny. It's a gr like one of the like very good bad movies. Yeah. I like that. I thought it was good. Warcraft. Yeah. This is the movie where Carl straight up lied to us. Yeah. What I like to... Oh, the yeah. No, I, no, I mixed them up. No, the you, you fucking lied. The whole movie. Me and Adam are saying. This That's the bad guy. That's the good guy. guy. No, I think it's opposite way around. Yeah. And then at the end, nah. wait, what's his nah, name? He, oh yeah. He's no, the he's hero of all heroes. Yeah. He's like hero, hero, hero it's man. It's the hero other guy. Son. The little, the little, uh, little boy. He is actually hero man. Little boy, mm -hmm. baby boy. Cadgar. Yeah. yeah, it's Medi Mediv that's the good guy and Cadgar that's the bad guy. Yeah, mm -hmm. the whole movie, me and Adam were like, wow, your man is scared you're going to betray them all. And Carl was like, no, he's the strongest wizard. And this dude who's fucking fumbling about the whole movie, he's like, I will become the strongest wizard, you evil prick. And Carl was like, oh, yeah, sorry, you guys. I guess it is Mediv. I've mixed up the names. Also, it's Dominic Cooper. It's, um, the king is Preacher. Yeah. Hmm? I like him in Preacher. He has... Fluffy as fuck hair. It's great. The comic is good as well. The comic is really good. Roar. Um, I can't show IMDb for Roar because Why? Adam's method of getting stuff got the wrong Roar. Did it? So, <laughs> what did I get? Some 2022 TV series. Oh, I'm sorry that me clicking on 300 movies on IMDb, I missed a one. Excuse me, Prince. So, there are two movies called Roar as well. Um, one is from an older, I think, isn't it? Because one's I... oh no, they they rebranded it. That's what confused me. One of them says a ferocious comedy. It's not yeah, a comedy. Why is it like many many people got maimed on the set of this? What? Um, <laughs> a ferocious comedy. So what? Like the the people who made it. Uh, on the sanctuary? Oh, yes. it's like an Apple TV thing. Well, no animals were harmed in the making of this film. 70, 70 cast members were. <laughs> One of the women was lifted by like an elephant and broke her arm. And they left it in the movie? It yeah. broke her leg. It broke her leg. It broke her own arm. Um. So they, they didn't use trained animals. Yeah, it was just some they... guys lions, right? Yeah, they had tamers around, but they Don't didn't actually shit. tame any of the lions. So, they, they just hung around. Yeah, that. She broke her leg. Mm -hmm. So they they uh, they just hung around with the animals and the lions on the sanctuary. And the, the lions are like... It's like they don't terrifying. look like, they, like they're trying to kill them, but... Yeah, yeah they're just playing. It's, and they're... it's terrifying seeing these yeah, cause, casting cause crew members walking amongst them. Yeah. Your man has the lions. bandages on him. Yeah, no, there's fucking... a scene where like something happens. That... No, actually, it starts off with the bandages on him. Yeah. And then the scene after that, he's he's like 
no, stop that. And he tries to get the lines yeah. to move, and one of them claws at him. Yeah. And you could see blood going down his arm, and like, oh, that's why he has the bandage. <laughs> yeah. Because <laughs> he actually got hurt. Was Tippy Hedron the one that needed, like, facial reconstruction? I can't fully remember. No, the person that needed was a cameraman. The one that needed right. facial reconstruction, I think. Um, pretty good movie. It was fine. Like the overall, I think I think like what they put the cast and crew through was uh, abuse. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, it was interesting. Um, Tromeo and Julia. This one another trauma film was insane because it taught me that the trauma actors are all really good classically trained actors who wrote Tromeo and Julia before uh, James Gunn yes. the guy in charge of DC yes <laughs> and his brother's in it the weird looking he wrote it alongside Kaufman. Lloyd Kaufman I don't know if you can show the page for this I, I already ran through and I just wanted to have this photo before we talk about it because that's her and her dad yeah Sean Gunn Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, and then she, she he puts her in a box. He put, puts her in a cardboard box. Uh, she put he puts her in like this like the plastic the container. Mm-hmm. Will Keenan, Tromeo comes up with a sex in there. Will Keenan, who plays Tromeo, delivers all of the Shakespeare lines like really well, and like he clearly knows them all <laughs> yeah. off. And it's insane because everyone else is sort of like fumbling, but he's like, "Yeah, I could have been a Shakespearean actor if I wanted." Yeah, he's actually he was actually yeah. a good actor. Like there was some people that were really good. I enjoyed it. I thought it was mental. Lemmy was in it. That gave him an extra ten points. Lemmy's um, been in a few of these movies. Uh, yep, it's usually of course, a movie. because because Lloyd Kaufman knew Lemmy somehow. Um, right, we don't need to Hanzo discuss the, the third hand, that, do we? Yeah, Hanzo Tree, big cock. Yeah, we seen the plank. Okay. Right. What the fuck? Blonded bondage is the black and white one. I'm gonna let you guys try to remember this. Also called not- oh. nothing but blondes, I think. No. <laughs> I'm... Oh. This isn't the one where she runs her own brothel? No. Oh, because I like that one. Now, blonded bondage was the one where the guy crashes his car and he's uh, picked up. Yeah. Yeah, He's picked yeah. up by a guy who runs a carnival, and his his girlfriend is addicted to opiates. Mm-hmm. Oh, this this one has like photos that sort of go in in like a in a little sequence. Just let me know when it's on stream. Yeah, it is. Boom, boom, boom. Wow, it's very far back. Yeah, yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. She does strip shows for the carnival, mm. and he gives her her opiums. Yeah, it's not what it's um, called anymore. That was very dull. It, it's fine. Um, I liked it as a film. What do you call it? It's just like a, it's just a fifties like a pulp movie. Is that what it was? Um, I guess yeah, it was like a crime drama. Yeah. Um, didn't I didn't hate it. Um, I thought it was fine. Um, I, I, I enjoyed it as a movie. But the next one is the Last Dragon. The Last Dragon. It was the the, the black. That dude. was the yes yes yeah. yes yes yes. And yes. The crazy guy. I just remember the effects right at the end, the lightning effects, and we're like that poor guy who had to draw that frame by frame. Yeah, he had to draw it each bit. Of, yeah. Oh fucking! Oh, what was the bad guy's name again? Show enough. It was like, who's the baddest? Show enough. Show enough. Who, is, who'll be Timer? Show enough. Is the last dragon the one where the kid's family owned like the Italian? Yes. Restaurant. Yeah. yeah. But yeah. Yes. like. His dad is just some fat black dude, and his logo was like a black dude. Yeah, with a pizza. With a no, the, and a pizza. it was the middle of the it was the middle of the wheel for ages. It was. Yes, it was. Um, I just remember the, uh, the 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 switch em up that they do, where he goes to try find the master, um, to like bring himself forward, and it's a bunch of Asian people who act like stereotypical like hood people. Yeah. I was like, look at this guy. What's he doing? Yeah. He wants to find the master. Yeah. And he's like, please, can you let me through? I want to find Master Dim Sum. Yeah, we couldn't tell whether he was a very polite, soft spoken man or whether he was doing a very slightly racist accent. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, it was fine. It was I, The parts of it were funny. Yeah. 
I love showing up. Mr. No Legs. Also known as the amazing Mr. No Legs. Mr. No Legs. What can I even remember about Mr. No Legs other than the fact that he's in a wheelchair? Yeah. Mr. No Legs himself was barely in it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. He shows up like twice and shoots his gun. That's it. That's all he needs. It was, um, it was the first time where this, like, the twist ending was very obvious, but we still thought it was pretty well done. Where, like, the commissioner was in on it. Yeah. And we're like, oh, Don't cross good. him or he'll cut you down to <laughs> Cops uh, want to get him. The mob wants to hit him. Women love him. Yeah, no one wants to meet him face to face. Uh, yeah, yeah. Literally burning the movie. I just remember the, the scene. This man with no play. legs is fucking lovely girls left, right, and center. Yeah. Everyone hates him. Um, <laughs> Click here to find out how. I like talking about it, though. <laughs> this one simple trick. <laughs> this one simple. Have two shotguns in your wheelchair. Yeah. So, Alien from LA gave me, like, fight or flight response because. There's so many movies that sound like this on our list. Alien this... from LA, right, has the lowest fucking score for a movie that's actually fine. But that was the problem. It had a massive budget and it was just not. It had a good premise. It had everything good about it except for the movie itself. Oh, yeah, yeah. it was Kathy Ireland. And she changes her looks every 10 seconds in this movie. Yeah, no, we watched the trailer and you were like, that was like three different women. And I was like, yeah. no, it wasn't. It's just Kathy. She's nerd. She's not nerd. She's hot. <laughs> Even in these photos, I'm like, I'm sure she looks like different women. Yeah, she, she goes down there to find out what her dad mm. was doing, right? It looked exactly and... like the Mario Brothers set as well. Yes. The Mario yeah, Brothers. Yeah, yeah. Um, it was fine, though. It wasn't like... Oh, I just remember her voice at the start of the movie. Oh, Christ. <laughs> remember that? Yeah. Oh, that's... Mm. Uh, yeah, right. Yeah. My she... stepmother's an alien. She had an annoying voice, but she's fine. My stepmother's oh. an alien? Now, she had an annoying voice, but she's fine. Is that what you just said? <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry about it. Right. My, my stepmother, my stepmother is an alien. aliens is that Aykroyd film. Oh, yeah. I think Alice, that's it. Alice and Hannigan. Right. And fucking Sekarin. Yeah, whatever. Kim Bassinger. This movie would have easily had at least 10 more points from me, if not for the end scene. I think I should go. I think I should stay. Stay. <laughs> go stay. Go stay. Go <laughs> stay. Yeah. yeah, I hate it. I that's just that Aykroyd wanting to do that in the movie. And just shoehorning it in. Also, it was... Dan Aykroyd well, wrote himself in to be like Kim Bassinger's husband. Yeah. <laughs> like, look, there's a man who knows what he did. Uh, if I could write a film, I would have a supermodel as a wife. That's like, uh, was it Joseph <laughs> Gordon Levitt who wrote his first movie? And he was like, uh, Scarlett Johansson. Yes. She's, she, she's my wife in it. Oh, <sighs> Tree Ninjas. Three Ninjas is our highest rating Hogan movie. That's the Hogan movie. I don't is know how it? I messed it up. Ninja Tree. Our that's because that's rate. where oh, I yeah, got yeah, confused. Yeah, this, this is like the third one, isn't it? It's like this one. Um, would the rest of them I don't think were worth watching. Um, and I put this on as part of her Hulk Hogan thing, and I don't mm. think it mattered that we didn't watch the other ones because it my, introduced all the characters still. My whole life blended this movie with suburban commando holy shit jim varney's in this yeah he's the villain i forgot yeah what's his name ernest 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 slinky dog in tree (laughs) Slinky slinky dog lothar zog this movie would have made a really good like show on nick or disney or one of those also hulk hogan's character what's his name Dave Dragon, oh, barely in it. Yeah, it's like twice. Yeah, which is great. Because I fucking can't stand it. The Phantom Planet we watched here and I. Yeah, it was old movie. I like Phantom Planet. I like Phantom Planet. Phantom Planet, Phantom Phantom Planet, Planet safe, Planet. isn't it? Yeah, Phantom Planet. Yeah, safe. there's not. There's it's no a... Bobbers. There's no Bobbers in Phantom no. Planet. Um, sad ending. Uh, yeah, they just take him home, right? Yeah, because him and Liara like confess to each other, and he cures her muteness, and then he just goes. Hello, right. guy in color. 
Man, must... color, go back. <laughs> I must go now. My planet needs me. I'm... Why aren't yeah, we like... looking at little man in color? This one. I don't know. The stream's like ten minutes behind. I didn't know he was purple. <laughs> <laughs> I actually don't like him in color. Is there a colored version of this movie? I don't know. Well, <laughs> African American <laughs> version of the movie. Oh yeah, shit I was gonna say that sounds kind of racist. Oh, it is. <laughs> is there a version of this movie for colored? <laughs> oh, he knows what he wants. Here's a man who knows what he wants. Oh. Uh, um, class of Newcomb High. This is the one you were thinking of earlier, Adam. Is it? Let me. This just... is the trauma film. Mm -hmm. Trauma movies always need to be vet. Yeah, there's no. I think Last of Newcomb High was fine. There's a like punk Hitler though. There is. Uh, yeah, they they, they go to school next to a power plant, and mm -hmm. uh, some one kid gets turned into like a fucking monster. If yeah. I remember correctly. Um, and there's a yeah yeah, and there's a group of like bullies like fucking. Yeah, the nerd gets like yeah. Yeah, the bullies all get infected and then they still show up and they're selling like the weed and stuff. You put your weed in there. Yeah, weed. it's probably the most I don't remember loads about this uh, trauma film. Yeah. Mm -hmm. oh, oh, put this that is... in the box. Put that in the fucking box. <laughs> I think... This is the most I don't fucking remember. Shoot fighter. Movie. This is the one where Adam explains shoot fighting to us like 10 times at the start. Which is great. Because we kept Fight asking questions. Jet. It'll really? tear your heart out. Um, shoot fighting is like a mixture of wrestling and yeah. MMA. Actual fighting, yeah. Yeah. But we kept asking you what the rules were. And you were like, no, it's not that deep. Because we were like, is this allowed? Is that allowed? <laughs> because this one, this movie just, shoot fighting is just kill your opponent in real life. <laughs> Oh, hang on. I'm pretty sure one of the fighters has to be, uh... The snake dude? Oh, the snake dude was amazing. <laughs> there's there's lots I remember about this, but it was fine. I, I there's like, nothing was... in this movie that you would need to take it away. I, I thought there was, like, a girl fighter that... There was nothing in it that... It has William not... Zabka in it. The bad it has, guy it has... is Martin Cove. In his 400 movie appearances, this is one of the two movies where Bolo was a good guy. <laughs> That's like one of the trivia pieces. <laughs> That's true. I love Bolo. There is a Shoe Fighter 2, which I think I might need to put on the list. So. Electric Boogaloo. Yeah, the Snake Land, that was the best. It's just called Shoe Fighter 2. Shingo and the boys are blackmailed into helping Rollins just, infl infiltrate another great Shoe Fighting ring. Right. Here we go. Surf Nazis must die. Which is such a ridiculous promise, and then we watched it, and I was like, yeah, "Is this another? Is this a trauma movie?" This is also a trauma movie. I like the way you could tell, just to, like <laughs> off the bat, like, is that a trauma film? Yeah. Yes, <laughs> yes, right, and it is. It, uh, it was the most off the walls movie we'd seen up to that point. Mm -hmm. um, it was like this was early like, though. This was early-ish. This was early enough. Yeah, it was. It I had loads of shit in it. Um, too much for me to even remember now. Like it, yeah. it, 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 it's like it gave me too much. Didn't one of them get their heads cut off, like on the boat or something? Yes. Pretty sure. Um, it was a group of bad guys who were Nazis and they surfed and they didn't yeah. allow anybody else to surf. But mm -hmm. like, they, they were Aryans. They didn't play it like a crazy movie. Like crazy shit would happen. And everyone would just go, "Yep." Well, they were well, they were good surfers, so they did get mad Aryan. Yeah. Okay, monkey bone. <laughs> Moving swiftly along. Monkey bone. Monkey bone was a movie that could have been so much better than it was. We see. I considered monkey. The animation bone, like... was really good, right? No, yeah. not the animation. The, like, whatever. Computer effects. M monkey bone to me was like, had I found this movie when oh! I was like turned in. I yes! This is the movie where we were looking at the man with the broken back and then we looked him up and he was like... And he actually yeah. broke his back at one point? <laughs> <laughs> like he, 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 he like fell and broke his back or something? Yeah. Oh, what are the odds? 
Oh, concept art and everything. Cool. Yeah, I didn't really care for it. Um, a lot of Monkey Bone was just annoying to me. Um, it was fine, I guess, in the end. I think if I'd found it when I was younger, I'd been really into it. And uh, Giancarlo Esposita. I'm surprised it doesn't come up more and more people don't know it. I've definitely seen the photo of Rose McGowan in costume more. Yeah, as a just cat. When you sent it, yeah. Yeah, monkey bomb. Oh, Christ. I was like, cool, we can probably whack out the next 20 and go to sleep, but uh, pee weeds for anybody. It, it's also 1 a.m. Mm -hmm. So it's up to you. Um, Which is what I'm saying. Like, we'll get to. PD Wheatstraw. I love PD Wheatstraw. I love Rudy Ray Moore films. Um, oh. Wait, what did you guys not like about. Yeah. But, but some of the dirt on him, Jimmy. Dirt on him, Jimmy. I, yeah. No wonder you're cold. You done kicked all the dirt off you. Yeah. <laughs> I think that's a movie that if we were watching again, I'd put it a bit higher. Rudy Ray Moore just hates uh, winos. I so, have come to know, uh, especially with P.D. Wheatstraw. Some dude who's could may or may not be homeless uh, and drinks wine out of a paper bag. Rudy Ray Moore wants to put dirt on him, take his face off, uh, <laughs> kill him, do anything he can to them. He just doesn't like them. Now that's John Travolta that wants to take his face off. I'm pretty sure is P.D. Wheatstraw is the one he's doing the stand-up comedy, yeah? Yes. So Shut this, up. Shut, Shut your, your Weasley, Weasley ass up. Yeah. I, I've quoted that every he does, since. He does stand up in all of them, right? Because that's what he did. Pee Wee Straw is his main one where I remember the yeah. stand up. But I love that the character of Pee Wee Straw does stand up where he will go, That woman has a fat ass. And everybody will go, Oh, you can't say that about my woman. And he goes, Shut up. <laughs> that's Shut his whole set. His whole set is to uh, uh, like sexualize a fat woman. I then tell her husband to shut up, <laughs> and everyone goes wild. Yeah. Uh, Ewoks, Ewoks, Ewoks. Oh, Battle for Endor. Which is this? A this is a first one. What's the second one called? No, no, this is the second one. Second one was better because this is one, the one with the the bad guys. The first one the first was one Caravan of Courage. So this one is the one that is better. The one that we yeah, rated this is the better. Second one. Yeah. I just seen little girl and I thought it was for some. I like Battle for Endor. I thought it was pretty good as an idea. Um, it's a little silly, but you know, that's what you get. Let's, that's what happens when you when mm -hmm. you have like spin off Star Wars films about Ewoks. Uh, yeah, it's fine. I think there's a lot of cool artistic stuff. I remember stuff the fast it. one. <laughs> yeah, the little fast around. guy. Yeah. Um, and I met Warwick Davis and his family before. Oh, yeah, yeah, and he wouldn't sign an autograph for someone <laughs> with cancer. I don't recall that part. <laughs> uh huh. Okay. You told it's us fine. he killed five kids. So. It's fine. <laughs> Carl believes me because what I said you would say after that. You said <laughs> after that. So. It's true, and it happened. I couldn't have predicted what you would have said after I brought that story up. Yeah. <laughs> what was it? He's friends with your man who plays fucking your man in Sword Art Online. Bruce Pappenbrook. Bryce. <laughs> Not Bruce. Bryce. Uh, Sorry, Bryce. Uh, New York Ninja. Uh, New York Ninja was the Vinegar Syndrome movie that they reconstituted from, like, like scraps of film. In a warehouse I don't that they like bought. how you used reconstitute. <laughs> <laughs> That's the only way to put it. Like they, they didn't have sound. They didn't have half the movie. They like, they found film and they were like, right, let's put this back together. And they made New York Ninja. Um, I think if it did come out and this guy got to make more movies, we would probably have a lot of them on the list, and they would all be hilarious. We'd we'd regard them about the same as Neil Breen, but unfortunately, you got one movie and it didn't even get released. It's bothering me only now that the guy's using a Chinese sword. Samurai, so we'll call it. Well, they're not ninjas, he is. <laughs> Japanese sword. Yeah, but like... Ugh, okay. But he has a they can use sword. whatever swords they want. They're not ninjas. 
Is that the film crew on his glasses in yes. the picture? Yeah, it is. <laughs> Speaking of ninja, American ninja. I want to be ninja. Um, I think I think my favorite use of uh, them catching film crew in a movie is uh, Shazam, where they just CGI'd some uh, shopping bags into their hand to make them look like bystanders. <laughs> that was pretty good. So what was this one? I think this is one that I don't. That is it a... all I remember is they stopped a truck in the middle of the road? Yeah, and that's oh, all I remember. Yeah. <laughs> no, I do remember this. I remember the first 10 minutes of this movie, and that's it. Um, do, 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 do. the fuck? Did... Oh, oh, I remember him in the um, in the barracks. Is this the one that ends in like a big house like fight thing? And yes. He... Again, yeah, it's part, another he's one part that of the military, him. and like the your one's father is actually yeah, yeah, part yeah. of the, the the plot. Yeah, and he blows up the helicopter at the end or whatever. It's another one of those ones. Yeah. yeah. It was yeah. Yes. It was one of those canon movies that would just disappear. The next couple on the list though are are big movies. Chopping, oh, chopping mall. mall. Chopping mall. Oh, let me bet. Chopping mall. I think you're alright. Yeah, there's a sex scene dropping mall. They're all in the bed. And the little one said, roll over. Roll over. And um, I think everyone is dressed in those. I love the robots in it. There's Dick Miller in it. We recently the watched who a movie like with you. your man from Chopping Mall, right? Yeah, Chopping Mall has come up recently. Oh, he was uh, Deathstalker too. He was dead. Oh, he was. He was. He was. Yeah. Uh, yeah, chopping it. mall. Adam oh, said, like, oh, you don't need to vet it. And then I went into the photos and, like, everyone is, like, nearly naked. Yeah, because it's, it's from though. the sex scene. They just start. It's, uh. Yeah, I think it's John Tur Turleski or whatever. I think that's Death Stalker. So they did. So. <laughs> the security for a mall decide. Oh, mm. we'll put these little fucking robot dudes uh, in charge. Yeah, and all the robot dudes are like, Happy birthday, Polly. And they... Happy birthday, Polly. <laughs> Happy birthday, Polly. And they instantly uh, go bad. Yeah. The guy's reading his newspaper or his, like, porno magazine. I can't even remember. He's in the control room, and the robot kills him and then yeah. presses the button for the other robots. Uh -huh. So they, they run around this chopping mall trying to find stuff to I boost the robots. I you an arm and a leg. Yeah. <laughs> To, to find stuff to kill the ro they put that they like they drop them into a paint shop and then light the paint on fire if I remember correctly is that something that happens yeah and, um, like they pour the paint all over the ground and then they light the paint shop on fire they're trying to oh, see their two nerdy friends together and they're the two most attractive nerds I've ever seen in my life like <laughs> yeah he takes his shirt friends. off and he's r yeah he's fucking <laughs> <laughs> yeah like me yeah. <laughs> like, oh, <laughs> like I can't get a girlfriend Arr. Yeah, that's how I feel. This is actually a different guy, but there's yeah. a nerdy one. He's like, oh, I can't find a girlfriend. It's like, okay. <laughs> Crazy. Well, there you go. Yeah, Chopping Mob was decent. Brain yeah. Smasher. Take a seat. I oh. like Brain Smasher. You say, less. take a seat. Way less than you guys. Carl did not enjoy Brain Smasher. I thought it was I fucking we, stupid. We all liked it the exact same. What are you talking about? 5% less. I oh, enjoyed it the least. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? Oh, Turty, I'm looking at the Ben and Arthur score. <laughs> I, I enjoyed it the least. You're homophobic, you mad bastard. Like <clears> take a seat, like... you say. Take a seat. I yeah, do Terry not Hunter. like Andrew Dice Clay. I think he's very annoying. He is someone who played a character and then became the character. Have you seen Andrew Dice Clay now? Yeah, he's right there. Bottom left. No, but I have a picture of him. And it's not very... He, like... He, he likes to keep up that like character. Yeah, if you put him in. No, don't you don't have to put in now. Okay. There, the third one. He still does his stand up, which is all shit. No, it's just the third picture. Oh, there it's gone. There it is. Um, so you can see like what he was trying to do. Like sometimes he dyes his hair as well. Mm. He still won't what he won't he apologize for? <laughs> the salon.com. Well, I want to see what you want to apologize for, Jordan. Uh, this is the site, Jordan. Oh, oh, I want to apologize. 
diagnosed with what was he diagnosed with? No, That's no, bad. that the salon.com one says Stop. Andrew Dice Clay still won't apologize. Still. Oh, bottom right, the one with the sideburns. Holy shit. Okay. And then visit the side. What won't he apologize for? <laughs> and we're officially off the rails, guys. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is cool. Lewd, crude, misogynistic ways. What? He's a lewd, crude, misogynistic dude. <laughs> it's just a character of the Diceman. Diceman. I don't like him. I thought he was fucking annoying. What should I call you? Dice is cool. Okay. Um. I really liked Adam's joke at the end, and I really liked the part where. Yeah. Uh, yeah, you like that wife. bit too much. One guy loves the speedo, dude. <laughs> it's the wife going like, "There's ninjas." The guys are like, "These gentlemen are clearly not Japanese. That's a a racist stereotype." And you go, "Oh, you are a very honourable man." Mm. A very knowledgeable just, man. The thing is, right, I wouldn't have minded so much if he didn't make one-liners for the whole movie. And then he hits the guy with the chair. <laughs> and then he fucks it up. Oh, what did he say? He said no, something else. I think it was a, I think it was the woman that hits him with the chair. Yes, I think it he hits it. Alright. Um, there's also a part where, like, the ninja monk people are trying to escape from the police station. And there's, like, 200 cops with guns on them. And, and one he guy catches, catches one the bullet, bullet and he throws it at him and kills him. Yeah, and they give up, they're like, ah, oh, fuck, he caught a bullet. Yeah. I mean, what else do you do in that situation? <laughs> That's us done here, yeah. yeah. Ben yeah. Arthur. We've got a code 404, I'm going home. <laughs> 404. Uh, I love Ben and Arthur, it's fucking hilarious. Ben, ben and Arthur, um, nothing happened and then everything happened. Uh, it is hilarious. The guy does, has absolutely no clue how to make a movie. Um, he clearly went on like some sort of I don't know, like a modeling agency or something to pay for the guy who played his husband. <laughs> because there's no way, like that's not actually his husband. Like that that man <laughs> is clearly punching down for the sake of his movie. I hope he got paid enough. Yeah, like. Um. Yeah, no, it goes off the fucking rails. Oh nowhere. Uh, they 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 got tried to move multiple times. Where do they want to go? I can't remember where they wanted to go. They wanted to go somewhere where gay marriage was legal. And Canada. Then it becomes not legal. Was it pass. Canada? I don't I don't know if it was Canada. I think it was a state. Was it? I think so. And then it becomes not legal or something, and he goes, "Oh fuck, we already have the fucking the the tickets, the airport the airport tickets. We can't get those back." Mm. And then it just never comes up again. And then his brother like shoots him. Not a lawyer gay? gets assassinated or something. I don't know. Mm. Oh yeah, the lawyer gets assassinated. Uh, yeah, like it's been a while since I've watched mm. it now, so bits of it are melding together on me. This is the most middling of middling movies for it's... everyone. Hardware is is just 50 50 50 50 and even rotten fucking Tomatoes 53 it's I think it is a 5 out of 10 movie like this This is what other movies are I you, like, like the aesthetic. Yes. I like hmm. what it was going for I like the you know as a robot that kills things or like is it, it's a law, law enforcement robot, but it's fucked Like I'm like cool. the cast is good like Dylan McDermott's good. Lemmy's in it Lemmy's in it, that gave it an extra 10 points for me. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it was it was fine. There was just a lot of it that, like, it dragged on a bit. What a like, name. Mac McDonald. <clears throat> I, I like that he gets thrown out the window, into another window, onto a table, and then it's like, oh, is he dead? <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, yeah, he's dead. Like, it doesn't know who is dead or who's not. Oh, like what was it? It has like a thing, like it stabs you, we and then you'll die in like a minute. Because there was a scene in this, right? I had a good look. I can't remember. 
Um, but yeah, I think it was he fun. The trailer, but it's all. Yeah, you can't see on. I enjoyed the aesthetic and I thought it did well, but it wasn't anything special. Yeah, it's the most five out of ten movie. Dead bed. Dead bed. The bed, bed that bed. eats. Uh, the only thing that sticks out to me for dead. Well, I'll let you guys. What? What's your? If you wanted to say one thing about dead bed. The hand. On his hand, like. There's a little skeleton. I love little, little, little skeleton plastic has... skeleton. Yeah. Okay. Jordan. Um, sorry, as Adam said, I turned the photo. <laughs> he like clinks never... them together, doesn't uh, he? Yeah, he goes. Uh, uh, and he goes. I never get to touch again. I. I really liked. Um... It's been so long since I've seen yeah, this. When it's... we watched it, I was like singing its praises, and now it's like been a while. Oh, wasn't there a priest in the walls? Or something? No, he's like he's like another spirit that got stuck with the bed, mm. and he's our, he's our narrator, right? So yeah. what the jo like George? Give me give me if you wanted to say one thing. It was very artsy, but like not in a pretentious way. Like uh, it has, scroll scroll. <laughs> it has one of the longest death scenes. Scroll scroll. Ever. Was there something there? There was yeah. Yeah, yeah, he eats lots of naked women, if you remember correctly. Oh, right, your yeah, one's reading a dirty magazine, whatever. Yeah. Um, but, uh, it has one of the longest death scenes, do you remember it? Another one, one where it's like... It, it eats like... bits of her legs, and she crawls for seven minutes. Was it seven minutes? It was very long. She crawls for, like, a, like a while. Up, like... I go, uh, uh, and she crawls for ages. Then she gets halfway up the stairs. She's about to go out the door, and it grabs her by the leg, and pulls her back. Yeah. She was she was crawling for ages, and every time she got to the door, we were like, <laughs> <laughs> but then every time she got dragged back, it was like, <laughs> there you go. Yeah, deathbed. And then, and then right at the end, it was a. Uh... That's a dead kid. <laughs> right, we're so very nearly, nearly there. And then we go to bed. Oh, um, uh, the wasp woman. I was yeah. very disappointed. Uh, she injects herself, and I she becomes thought, wasp woman. I thought it was fine, especially for when it came out, um, and I enjoyed the movie as a whole. You guys just don't watch enough old movies because. The posters lie. Isn't the of course poster? they lie. They're like old games. I knew it. I knew the poster <laughs> lie. There was no way she was going to be that. Obviously. <laughs> Beautiful woman by day, a lusting queen wasp by night. There she is. <laughs> That's what I, what you ordered versus what you got. Yeah. We have wasp woman at home. <laughs> <laughs> this uh. Right. It was fine. It was just a horror yeah. movie about a woman who comes wasp. Oh, look, Spice World. Um, Carl fucking hates Spice World. This one kid hates Spice World. <sighs> yeah, and then to become one. I just my favorite part of that movie was when they jumped the bridge. <laughs> just turned into stop motion or whatever. I think, I think that's the only part that got it points for me. Like it was fucking Spice World, man. Isn't. <laughs> It has no substance. It's fucking Spice World. And their but their turbo spikes all laws of physics. Oh yeah, it does whatever they need to do. Yeah, like yeah. Real life. It was like a TARDIS. Um, I thought uh, it was surprisingly good for what it was. Yeah, maybe a TARDIS that was bought reused. So it's a. Uh, it's a. Uh, <laughs> what would that be called? The reused TARDIS. <laughs> stop it! Stop it, Adam. <laughs> I'm not opening this. I'm not even. Uh, she Devils of the SS uh, is the history we're not told in school, and I'm yeah. still 100% that we've got gypped out of so much that we could have learned in school. Um, they were just having sex everywhere. The movie was just tits, 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 tits. I have leukemia. I have leukemia. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, um, I have leukemia. This was the. I came one. here instead of my twin sister. This was the first one where we asked you if it was porn, and you weren't a hundred percent that it wasn't. 
it was soft. It was it it, it could <laughs> it probably was soft. it could probably be uh put in the erotica section. But it was still a film. If you get me. Still oh, a yeah. movie. It was definitely erotica. Uh yeah, I thought it was fine. Um wasn't the worst movie. Roadhouse. If you like boobers, it's boob it has boobers. Boobers in space. Roadhouse fucking sucked. I like Roadhouse. Wait, did I? Yeah. Mm. Now um, we need to watch the new one that comes out. Roadhouse gets used. Was was a tiny, tiny Lister that was the bad guy or who who was the bad the, the big guy again? I used to book guys like you in prison. The big guy that they send after him. Was it Marshall? Or is that a different movie? Did I mix that up with something else? I thought you had to fight some like big guy. Maybe I'm mixing this up with something else. Yeah, oh, I, I love, didn't like this so I much I forgot. Sam Elliott in it. Sam Elliott was amazing in it. Was that man ever young? No. Um. Yeah, Roadhouse gets used to train bouncers. To this day, his little spiel about like. We're not here to fight people and stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, this is shit. Garbage good. movie. Aww. <laughs> Howling. Howling had really good effects. Shit, let me the howling. The howling. I think I remember this one, yeah. Because um, I actually think I like the Howling normally. Oh, the photos for the Howling were so... effects were great. It's a lot of pictures. There's a lot of pictures. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. No, I actually, I really like the Hobbit's good. Is this I one? like the old man. Why does that look like an AI generated picture? Like hand. they find out that like... They, yeah, look at his hand. <laughs> is that an AI generated image? What is this? No, it's just how he's holding his coat. Yeah. Is the Howling 2 on? Yes. Cool. We haven't got it yet. The ending was really good. Oh, yeah, where she, like... Oh, yeah, the news. Yeah, she's, she like... She changes a... on the news. Yeah. Oh, what the fuck was Hollywood Cop? Hollywood Cop was what Samurai Cop was supposed to be. If I remember correctly. It's made by the same guy. And he made it before Samurai Cup. Amir Shervin. And uh, I don't be kid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was like it, it. It was the movie made before that, and it was like what he, like his test run, of like what his movie was going to be. Is it, was this not the? Oh no, Zadar wasn't in this, was he? I don't think so. No, this is the one where the dog like jumps up to the window to the kid and everything. Uh, yeah, yeah, I remember. He's like, help me open the door, doggy. I don't know why I did it like that, but that's what he does. He has Cameron Mitchell in it. Special features, region free. Good, good, good. Um, Yeah, this is, this was okay at best. I don't remember enough to comment. Vicious it was, leaps. It was, was this the one where we were like, man, that could have ended like right there? Yes. And it didn't. It just went for another hour. Yeah, because they get the kid back at one stage. Yeah. And they kept going. But then she dies. She gets shot. And then the kid yes. gets stolen again. And then he has to go get the kid again. And the whole time we were like, this wouldn't happen if they just fucked off home. And they just left. He, like, no, 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 no. What happened is he didn't give them the money. If you remember, there is money. They have the money. Yeah. But he puts an empty like bag on the ground, and your man like goes, "Dude, you didn't give us the fucking money," and then shoots them. If they just gave him the money, it would have been fine. <laughs> Should let the kid die. So, where's the? Uh, yeah, that's it. That's a dead kid. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't know if the stream picks up. That's a dead kid. Anyway, vicious lips. 
Uh, uh, vicious right, Lips. Uh, uh, this is just space a space rock one, right? band. Oh, was this not the prison one? No. This was, they go oh, this to... This was all a dream. He Could steals the ship, right? And then they go to space and they mm -hmm. crash. And then it's all yeah. like a dream? Because they have an, a concert on either side of the galaxy or something. And they don't make it, but they do. Yeah. And the end is like a music video. Because they're like in that so room So stupid. Uh, I didn't know. Uh, I thought it was fucking silly. Uh, but it was fine overall. The trailer She's had the, the whole thing about the, like, <laughs> please God, look up at the screen, you moron, and I like that. That was fun. yeah. Uh, an asteroid is coming, you fucking idiot. Yeah. Yeah, the rest of it was okay. What the fuck is the Time Guardian? That has uh, Princess Lyanna. Oh, that was that one. Okay. Oh boy. Okay. <laughs> They go back to the past mm -hmm. to play the shitty games that suck ass. Yeah. Um, they uh, they go back to the past for something. I can't remember why they go back. Because the world is falling apart and they want to save it or whatever. Oh, 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 the city's gonna... Right, so the city has one way out of the war that it's in. And it's to go back to 1988. So they send two people back to get it ready. So the so the CE can show up, um, and then they meet like two other people and explain it to them. Yeah. And then they fight loads of thing, and then the bad guys come back. Yeah, it was it was <laughs> fine. It wasn't as bad as Rotten Tomatoes has it down as. I remember nothing about it except Carrie Fisher was in it. It was fine. I liked the design of the bad guys. They were like night costumes, I... but they looked kind of like Darth Vader. I vaguely remember like. Tornado or something? Uh, it's, not, it's not hitting me. The tornado, I mean, we don't have tornadoes here. Right. Because there was like a section that went forward in time or whatever. They were moving the city back. I I cannot remember. Um, Pastro. Pastro is easily the least memorable of our Neil Breen movies. Uh, that's the one where he just ki like he he takes drugs and he walks through rocks and he kills people. Yeah. And then he goes to the news station at the end. And he's like, "I have killed two point three million humans." Uh, three hundred million. Mm -hmm. Anybody, anybody who's been bad, I have killed them all. Yep. Um, and that's he, it. He loves green screening himself next to animals. <laughs> I know, but then you haven't watched. The... Ego was my favorite one. You haven't watched the four or like five hour, how to make a movie thing he released, he where he says, him. "Watch this scene where I'm beside a real life tiger," and then he shows the fucking green screen of him next to the tiger. It's a five hour thing, gonna have to be on the list. No, there's it's no way hours. we're not gonna make it through it. Watch in parts. It, stick it in sections like at the start I, of everything it's not watch. that good like a lot of it is just him sitting on a couch mm. like explaining how he would come up with the budget for one he doesn't mm. say what the budget would be he just says and then i find money over here underneath the cushions like shit like that where you're like that doesn't help anybody <laughs> like he's actually just insane but i love him Oh, just so you know, it's Robot Ninja, then the Necrophiles. That would be the last movie. Yes. Yeah, Two, yeah. 201 be 200. Oh my god, yes. we're stopping on the Necrophiles? <laughs> yes. I'm, I'm glad. <laughs> right. Robot Ninja. Um, Linnea it's Quigley's the comic book character is that uh, he, uh, he becomes a superhero. Is The superhero he has yeah. in his book mm -hmm. to, to kill rapists. <laughs> yes. Remember? Um... um it was a good idea. Linnea Quigley's in it. <laughs> Linnea Quigley's in it, so it's, yeah, it's fine. The movie. She's not in a good role, though. She's behind, like, a desk. She's Miss Bar... 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 Miss, Miss Boobar? Miss Boobies? Yeah. It's an apt name. <laughs> uh, right. yeah. There wasn't loads more. Um, there was a couple of scenes that were good. Um, some of the action and the effects are alright, but, uh... Largely memorable like fine 
Uh, the Necro Falls. Do you want to read out the plot summary? Um, let me see if I can remember. I'm not reading. Um, the guy who comes back to life as a cannibal rapist or something. Right, I'll read it out. <laughs> <laughs> Do I get it? A cannibal rapist rises from the grave <laughs> as a flesh eating zombie sex maniac. <laughs> Two, two Seattle, Seattle cops. cops. Oh, do you want to go? No, you no. Know, <laughs> a satanic cult and a fly demon fetus trying to stop the lust crazed ghoul before he can kill again. Right, let me just um, us. Yeah, you really have to. Um, the fun. Necro Falls was. Again, by the time we got the Necro Falls, we thought that was going to be the weirdest out there movie we've seen. I don't know if it's been topped, has it? Do you think it's been topped by Gracie Strangler Gracie and stuff Strangler, like that? Or do you yeah. feel... How do you feel about the necrophiles, Adam? Um, I'm currently in a my third ad of tree on your stream, so give me a second until I can see it. You don't remember it? I need to double check before... Oh, click, Flying click Baby! The... Flying yeah. Baby! <laughs> Flying Baby! Um... And it flies in to kill him at the end? Yeah. I think the Greasy Strangler was weirder than this. Yeah. Right. Uh, I love when we eventually got this. Because I originally, I found that and I put it on. And one of you guys asked if it was a porn. And I clicked through it and I clicked to the point where the your woman on the left there <laughs> said, <laughs> the Necro Man comes in. I yeah. went, uh oh, I don't. Uh... <laughs> She's already tied to the bed or something. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, no, um, yep, that was definitely a movie. Um, I thought it was hilarious. Just look at the summary. Um, look at the summary of the movies that Carl puts on the list without us knowing anything. I thought <laughs> it was hilarious. Um, definitely like a good bad movie to add to anybody's like. I want to watch something that's stupid and crazy. Cause that's what it is. So that's our... Is that guy's name Christian Cum Dungeon? No, it's Curmudgeon. That doesn't really help. <laughs> Christian Cum Dungeon. <laughs> Curmudgeon and, is still oh, not a great second name. Drew Barrymore. We, we definitely. Oh know. yeah. No, yeah. yeah, you went to Drew Barrymore, and I went, no, you fucking idiot. She's <laughs> clearly not Drew Barrymore. As Drew Bur <laughs> Barrymore. Yeah, as Barrymore because it's Necrophiles. So that was our top 100 movies mm -hmm. so we have uh, 199 worst movies to discuss oh, what is our life imagine I keep saying it but imagine what we could have accomplished if we did anything else what are you talking we have an app how many days have I watched on your server go uh, 10 and cool. most some of the movies weren't on Plex so maybe 11 <laughs> Probably. So I don't even have all the numbers. Cool. Uh -huh. I actually haven't shown this side of the she, so I might as well get it in for the... Yep. Right. Um, that was that was our 100 best movies over our 300 terrible movies that we've seen so far. Mm -hmm. I sent you the, the official poster thing. <laughs> the official poster. Here, look, I'll, I'll pull it up on the thing over there. Right, lads. Th thanks for um, for going through the the list with me. We'll uh, we'll do the others at some stage, maybe at a earlier time, because work is gonna suck tomorrow. <laughs> but sure, luck. See, Louise woke up not too long ago, and she sort of looked at me like, mm -hmm. "I can't believe you're still talking, you fucking weirdo." Go to bed, and I was like, "No, because we're just about to get to Spice World, and you'll be upset." I didn't say that, but I said it with my eyes. Yeah, you know what I mean. I think she got it, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm well, my nose is filled with dried blood. Yeah. It's great. And I can't even touch it because I'm too scared I'll die. <laughs> What's the upload limit from Twitch to YouTube? Is there one? No. Cool, cause this you, can, you can transfer any, it just if it's like multiple hours, it'll take a whole day. Right, because we're too fitty. 
Yeah, I definitely sent over eight hour streams. Jesus Christ. Right. All right. Very good, guys. Well, that um, was that. Yeah. Maybe we'll, uh, oh, if we watch movies before we do the next part, it'll mess. I don't care. We can watch movies. I'm not doing part two and three immediately. The $6,000 what? Oh, Christ, we didn't get down to that. <laughs> Listen, I have the copy of the list that's censored. That's the one we'll go off to finish off this review esque thing. Oh, is it now? Oh, dude, we were free a live stream, and I'm just going to say, sorry. Can't help it. Please, Carl, we got so far. <laughs> Can't help it, dude. Yeah, Super Soul Brother, you mean? Sorry. I forgot there was a li little Hogan. Yeah, a little Hogan, yeah. <laughs> also, <laughs> the little fake Hogan. Yeah. Also, maybe we skip the middle hundred and just talk about the worst hundred because we need to talk about Smokey. We need to talk about after last season. You're all right. You've been so fucking excited for this for so I long. I know, you're like, oh my god, there's so oh, many. We'll we just can't skip a hundred movies. I just didn't think you guys would be up for this two more times but if you are right yeah yeah maybe not right away but yeah you could save the list as it is now yeah no that's why i said i have the censored one as a copy so yeah cool and we All have right. i just want to update even if i do update the the thing it will won't interfere so yeah cool All right well that was fun it was nice reliving memory lane um I it's didn't... two to three years worth of movies now. I it's twenty twenty one, yeah, the end of twenty twenty one. Was when the list was developed. Mm. I remembered most of them. Yeah, I was surprised at how many I re like I I think I remembered them all once we at least seen the poster. Um I definitely think we're gonna get into Oh, the next movie to discuss is Deadly Prey. I know Deadly Prey. I love his little shorts, though. Yeah, I know, I know Deadly Prey. Deadly Prey is where he takes your man's arm off and kills him with it. Stop! Spoilers! <laughs> I love Deadly Prey. Oh, we've Treasure Planet. Soul Oh, Man, God, she yeah, has Treasure Planet. Possible Kid, Skin Deep. Soul Man, which is our, like, our, our second contender to, uh, to, to that Disney movie for most racist. No. Money plan. No, he learned. He learned. <laughs> he learned. He learned. He still did blackface. Shit. No, he didn't. Oh. Okay. It was medically done. It's different. Shockma. Shockma. Oh, the happy. Shockma. Hooker. No, it was, it was the happy hooker the one I was talking about earlier. The happy hooker was the one you were looking. You were thinking yeah. of. What the fuck was the happy hooker? The one That's the, the one where she owns her brothel. Yeah. Oh, it's yeah, about yeah. a real woman who owned the brothel. Yeah, 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 yeah. We actually, right. I thought the next like 50 movies were going to be painful because we're like 100 down. There's some great discussions coming up. Santo and Muscles. Yeah. Uh, oh, fucking Future Force. Never mind. Ah, oh, Future Force. We just Ave watched the. Uh... Masked Avenger versus Ultra Villain in the Lair of the Bikini. Naked Bikini. That is still a movie I remember very well. Yeah, Super Lopez. I fucking hate Super Lopez. Spoilers. The baby. Oh, Christ, the baby. Wish ah, you... the baby. The baby. The baby. Oh, zombie 3. <laughs> zombie 3. <laughs> zombie 8 is the worst one, right? It's, it's zombie yes. 3 was okay. Oh, Christ, the Nutcracker. I forgot that existed. In 3D. Ah, Wolf Cop. Oh, Jesus, I just seen the poster for Dr. Alien. Right, okay. Okay, I'm leaving the rest as a surprise. <laughs> I'll, uh, I'll talk to you tomorrow. <laughs> what do you... You don't remember the poster for Dr. Alien? I remember the poster for Dr. Alien. <laughs> well, I throw it up as the final thing on the stream. Oh, like no. Little... That's up to you. I love Dr. Alien. She has the cure for growing pain. I'm gonna throw this up and immediately kill the stream. Be careful because you like if you kill it before the buffer 
Did you just kill before you get to see the photo? Okay, I'll leave it up for a few seconds and then I'll kill her. There you go. Do, 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 do. It's there. Cool. Alright, where's my goodbye thing? Oh.